Right, I think we are ready. Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you very much for joining me. Uh, and welcome to a solo playthrough of Frostpunk, the board game. Um, so a few things before we start. First of all, this is not a sponsored video. I've actually taken today off work. Uh, my workload at the moment is just about manageable under control. So much so that I decided that I was going to take the afternoon off work. Well, most of the day off work. Uh, and rather than go to the beach and read a book and have an ice cream, I thought I'd do something a lot more relaxing, which is do a live stream of me playing Frostpunk. So, uh, yeah, just a few things before we start. First of all, this is not a sponsored video, although I have been professionally involved in the game. This playthrough is not sponsored in any way. So a big thank you to all of my Patreon supporters for funding the channel. And if you like the content that I create and you want to support me directly, patreon.com forward slash gaming rules. Um, the other thing, we're going to be playing a different scenario today. Uh, let me just hide that image for a minute. There you go. Uh, we're going to be playing... I've not played this scenario before. This is the a new home scenario bought with the uh, the canyon layout. Yeah, canyon layout. So who knows? Who knows what's going to happen today? <laughs> it's going to be slightly different. Um, and we're also going to be using the new Explorer cards. Now, uh, there is going to be some new uh, a new difficulty level to the game called Explorer, which is an official one. And... I can reveal to you now, well, I've already revealed to you, uh, this is Society 5 uh, from the new official Explorer difficulty level. Now, Glass Cannon Unplugged will be able to let you know when these cards are going to be available, uh, but one of the team yesterday contacted me and said, Paul, if you want to use the new Explorer difficulty, because to be honest, I was going to use the fan-made easy mode, uh, and they said, don't worry, we, we're, we're working on some. So this is the Explorer difficulty for Society 5. I rolled the dice this morning and it got five. I've not played Society 5 before, so this is going to be quite different. As you can see from this, uh, I start with 26 workers, only eight engineers, seven children. I start with one discontent token, which is inactive. And I start with five hope tokens, four of which are active. I also start with no corpses, no food. Seven wood, seven coal, and one steam core. So that is the starting setup for Society 5. Uh, as you can see, uh, I've got my 26 workers, which gives me six meeples. Uh, I've got my eight engineers and my seven children that give me two meeples each. We have two food to start with because we found a couple of cans of beans here. But other than that, we are struggling for food at, at the start of this scenario. Other than that, the scenario is um, a new home, which means the objective is the same. It's the same scenario card. Uh, we've got the round trigger on four. I think I've done most of the setup. I did forget how long it takes to set this game up, but I think we've done it. I think we've got things ready. There are a few things different for this scenario. Um, not just the map layout, uh, which is near tiles here, and then a couple of far tiles there. But we also have uh, an outpost depot card. So if I just switch to my other camera, and because this is not a sponsored playthrough, don't expect uh, a million camera angles like in previous ones. And I don't know why the colour's so bad. I sorted the colour out this morning, uh, and you, you wait five minutes and the colour goes. So just bear with us a minute. Let's sort out that colour again, because that looks pretty awful. Uh, how's that looking? Is that looking better? I don't know, it just, the whole colour just looks a bit weird. And I don't quite know why. Anyway, right. So, this is a new card. So instead of having three exploration cards, you actually have two exploration cards and you have an outpost depot card. And what we can do is... We can use this as an expedition, however, when we get to the end, we cannot skip it. We must explore it. We choose one of the return options and we come home. As soon as we've done that, there are four outpost buildings included in the game. And once we have found our first outpost, we can basically build the corresponding building, depending on whether we found a food outpost, a coal outpost, a steam core outpost, or a wood outpost. We will see. Um, that's that. Also, we have an outpost card. Once we've built our first outpost depot building, uh, we're going to be using this outpost card. Um, so we'll get to that when we get to it, I guess. <laughs> um, what else is different? Other than that, I think that's pretty much it. Yeah. So we've done the board setup. As you can see, uh, we've got a few things on it already. Is is it? 
Is it bright enough? Let me know if it's bright enough. It looks bright enough, but just let me know if 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 the main board is 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 bright enough. Um, and you're going to play FIFA for Odin? Yes, FIFA for Odin, fantastic game. Covered it the other day on the channel, so yeah, enjoy that. Um, yeah, we're just going to jump in. I'm going to play today. The plan is that we're going to go to the gym at about five thirty, which means I've got four and a half hours. We'll see how we get on. Every time I've played this before, it's been over in four and a half hours. But we will see. As I say, difficulty level is slightly easier. So we'll see how we get on. Now, uh, the starting social dispute card is Confusion. So we do see this, and this is going to get shuffled in. Let me just have a read of it. Um, if you have more hope tokens than discontent tokens, we do. You can exhaust one hope token to do the corresponding effect. If you have fewer hope tokens than discontent, ah, so this is actually not too bad. This is going to be good. When this card comes out, I can exhaust justice to discard a discontent token, or I can exhaust care to cure three or treat three. So we actually want this card to come out quite e quite quite early, and this this card is actually really good for this particular um, uh, starting society. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Shuffling my two card deck. Oh, the law cards for those people that are interested. In addition to the starting eight cards, we have got. Let me just have a look at these. We have uh, fighting arena, which I painted the other week. So if we wanted to, we could build a fighting arena, which reduces discontent. Um, and yeah, it, it unlocks the fighting arena. I can't actually remember what the fighting arena does. Uh, fighting arena. Where is it? Is it on here? Maybe it's not on here. Maybe it's in the rule book. Let's just remind myself what the fighting arena does. Um, here we go. Fighting arena. De decreases discontent. So we're probably not going to need that. Um, emergency shift. Um, when this law is introduced, you may return up to two spent citizen tokens from the supply back to the bank. Makes people work harder. Um, once per round... Oh, and I think this is from the Frostlander expansion. Once per round, you may return up to two spent citizen tokens from the supply back to the bank. If you do, plus one apathy. Any citizen meeples on spent citizen tokens returned to the bank may be used this round. Right, so basically, if we've got spent citizen tokens, uh, we can we can make them work. Uh, time to rest increases hope when we introduce it. Once per round, you may exhaust justice and place one spent worker stroke engineer in the supply. If you do, discard a discontent token or activate care and motivation. Interesting. So exhaust justice to activate care and motivation or discard a discontent. Okay. And the care house is the other one. Uh, so that increases care. Uh, when we when we introduce it and it unlocks the care house building which costs two wood to build and the care house uh, We can't introduce the care house because I've not painted it yet. Or is that the one that I was painting last night? You just have a look. There's one of them I've almost finished painting. I think it was the child shelter. It might be downstairs Yep, there it is it's the child shelter. Yeah, I'm almost finished painting the child shelter. Um, right. So there are there are possible starting loads. A couple of other things before we start. A uh, big thank you to George. George sent me a load of messages. He's been watching my previous playthroughs and sent me a lot of strategy tips on where I've been going wrong. Some of that I already knew because um, I'm not very good at this game. If you're expecting to watch a master at work, this, this is not the playthrough to watch. Um, the other thing is... Uh, I've not played this game for a few weeks and I've not looked at the rules in the last few weeks. So this is going to be a playthrough from memory. This is going to be fun. This is going to be a test to see if I can remember how to play the game. Um, but otherwise, yeah, we're, we're good to go. Right. OK. So which of the advisors do we want to play? Now, for me, I usually like to play the health advisor because I find sickness the biggest problem in this game. People getting sick, uh, and then the sickness leads to uh, deaths, and, and it all sort of spirals out of control. 
So I like playing the health advisor, which does allow me to exhaust care to cure two, and I do have two care at the start of the game. Um, social advisor, reveal three dusk cards, put one of them onto the discard pile without carrying out its effect. Reveal three dusk cards. Have I played this one before? You mean from the dusk deck? No, it can't be. It must mean from there. Yeah, so look through here. Choose one to put on the discard pile and put the other two back on the deck. Right, okay. Yeah, it's all right. The Foreman Advisor allows me to place a near tile. Can't do that because all near tiles have been placed. So if you exhaust motivation, I can place a far tile. I don't have any motivation yet. And the Generator Advisor removes three stress cubes if you exhaust any one hope. So that's a bit more flexible. Uh, and that is going to kick... What do you, what do you think? What do you think in the chat? I, I'm leaning between the Health Advisor and the Generator Advisor. Um, health Advisor because it helps keep my sickness under control. But the Generator Advisor because I have plenty of hope. So I'm leaning towards the Health Advisor. Nico says Health Advisor as well. Okay, that's what we're going to play. The other three advisors don't get used. So in a solo game, you don't play all four advisors. I saw a... I saw a a comment the other day from somebody on a Facebook group to say they were playing all four advisors in a solo game. Now, if you wanted to, you could, but you're actually then playing a four-player game four-handed. Uh, in the official solo game, you only play one advisor. Also, citizen cards. How many citizen cards do I get in a solo game? I think it's eight, and I choose seven. Little things like that I don't quite remember. Um, additional setup. Nope, that's the wrong book. Um, solo game, seven citizen cards, and then I discard one. So I'm going to start with six. And we're going to switch to the other camera, which the colours have probably all gone wrong again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so citizen deck is going over there. So the seven cards that we have are... Agnes Hamsterville, I'm going to have to spend a coal. Um, use a building, introduce a law, but choose which two cards to shuffle into the deck. Okay, it's all right. Let's go through the engineers first. Four engineers. Next one. Uh, Marshall Primis Low. So whenever I use this uh, engineer to use a medical post, I can spend an additional three food to cure two. So not particularly great because I don't have much food and I'm going to have to spend a wood when it comes into play, which is fine. That one we've seen. Paul Unclestone, reuse a building. This action counts as heated. I need to remove two coal from the map. Uh, Adele Kwipinski, increase hunger by three at the start. Mm. Use a building, yeah. No, I'm not keen on that one. Right, Peter Byrush. Put three stress cubes on the stress track when it comes into play. Uh, it allows me to use a child as a gathering post. Use the action as normal or take up to three resources from one adjacent space. That's going to allow me, if I use this card, to place a child before introducing child labour. So I think I'm going to keep that. Georgia, <laughs> remove snow, perform this action as normal, except draw three fire tiles and choose one to place. Okay, that's a quite a good effect. And wood is really important. That was the top tip from George, is that you need to get a wood economy going early in this game. Biggest tip for this game is that you cannot just survive off the resources on the map. You need to set up a wood, um, a way of generating wood and a way of generating coal fairly early on. Uh, no, not going to do that one. So I think... I think it's going to be Agnes. So Agnes is going to be the card that I discard at the start of the game, which means I have to spend one coal. That's it. So we've got lots of coal. We've spent one. Uh, Agnes is done. Gone to the discard pile. And these other cards are in my hand. And I can use one of these each round. So you can only ever use one... Um, one... Uh, what are they called? Citizen cards. One citizen cards per action, and only one of them per round. So in a solo game, that's basically one per round. But if you were playing multiplayer, one player could use a citizen card on one action, 
and then another, another player could use a citizen card on their action, but maximum of one per round for each player. And I need to I need to remember these. Let's have a look at which ones I might use as these on my first turn. Um, we might if if there's if there's a place for a gathering post. I don't really know. I mean, we've looked at the map. I've not yeah. I've, I've had a quick look at the map, but I'm looking to see if there's a good place. So first of all, there's no good place for a sawmill. Um, that's the first thing. Is there a good place for a gathering post? Possibly here. That would gather from there, 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 and there. We explored these. That might be a good place for a gathering post. Um, yeah. Oh, we need to do the starting wall tiles. I've just realised. Uh, the, the two posts at the end. Now, that's different in this scenario. So, do we actually... Or is it, my, is it coal? I think it's coal. I don't think we actually use... If anybody's played this uh, map layout, let me know. Yeah, I don't think it's it's a mining icon. It's a pickaxe icon. Here we go. Ah, you may only build an outpost depot building on a map tile adjacent to the outpost icon. Oh, so we don't have deposits in this map layout. Oh, no. No deposits. Right. So the fact that I've painted my coal... Drill, wall drills and coal mine. Uh, I didn't need them. Right, interesting. So yeah, no um, no deposits on this map layout. But you build the outpost buildings there or there. And you can only have a maximum of two. And I've not painted the outpost buildings either. Yeah, build, build the beacon early. This is the thing with this game. You need to build everything early. Uh, let's just have a look at the technology cards that have been chosen for this game as well. That colour is really bothering me. I don't know why it's purple. <laughs> um, but these are the technology cards that have been chosen for me at random. Now, you do take a couple out for this scenario. Um, steam hubs and faster sleds. So, medical education. Great. Whenever you use a medical post, you may treat two instead of its normal effect. Okay, so it doesn't make the medical posts better at curing. It just gives an optional. Hunting tactics. In the weather phase, again, an additional one food for every two hunting symbols. That could be good. This one is great, except I have issues with this card. Because it's an amazing card, but all of the tactical strategy advice stuff that I've read um, says that you want to be removing snow early. Now, if I remove snow early, um, that means I'm not going to get use of this card. So, yeah, unless I go with a... Um, what am I thinking of? I'm just going to try and sort this colour out because it's really bothering me. There you go. I think that's better. Is that more blue? Less purple? Yeah, I think that's more blue and less purple. We'll go with that. Um, so yeah, by the time I've, I've researched this technology, it, it might be too late. And heating, yeah, so heating lamps. Yeah, early or not at all, definitely. And the carrier sledge. I think this one's from the Frostlander expansion. Oh, maybe not. Whenever you perform the gather resources action, you may take up to three resources and you may take them from any spaces on the tile in any combination. Hang on. Whenever you perform the gather resources action, which allows you to gather one resource from every adjacent space, you may take up to three resources and you may take them from any spaces on the tile in any combination. Is that good? I guess that's in addition. That must be in addition to the normal stuff. So in addition to the normal stuff, because otherwise it's, it's terrible. Uh, yeah, probably should have had the word also in there. You may, so I, I'm going to assume it's also. If you know any different, let me know. You may also take up to, or you may take up to three additional resources, which can be taken from any of the spaces on the tile in any combination. Yeah. Gather resources is not using a gathering post. You're absolutely right. Apologies for that, Daniel. I'm getting really confused <laughs> with using a gathering post. So, 
going back to the original thing, gathering resources is, that's it, it makes a lot more sense now. So gathering resources is two resources from one space. This is three resources, can be taken from any space. Thank you very much, Daniel. Right, okay. Yeah, and if you, as you say, if you're using gathering posts, not so great. So first order of business is we only start this game with two food and that's only because of that tile. So we have lots of actions. We have six workers. We can't use the children unless I use um, this card, which is using a gathering post. We don't have a gathering post yet, but I could potentially build a gathering post here and then use uh, Peter Byrush to use the gathering post and get three resources from one adjacent space and put them in the supply. I could. I could. This is easy. There's so many things in this game to, to do. Do you introduce a law at the start of the game? Do you build a factory? Because we've got a steam core. We actually start the game in with this uh, society setup. If you have a look, we start with the steam core. See that in the bottom right. So yeah, we've got a steam core at the start of this game. I'm going to have to put my glass there, otherwise you can see it. Um, now, that steam core is going to allow us to build uh, all sorts of things. We could build a hot house on turn one <laughs> if we really wanted to. The coal mine and the wall drill we can ignore. Uh, we, we're not going to need them at all. Um, and do you build the tents or the bunk houses at the start again? The advantage is we actually start the game with seven wood. Um, automatons. To build an automaton, you need to build the factory. The factory is two wood. And then once you've built the factory, you then use the factory with an engineer, spin the steam core, build an automaton. I've never built an automaton in any game that I've played. Um, so, yes. What, I mean, yes, so many options. So, so many options. Um, you, I mean, one thing that I do like to do at the start is I love to build the beacon. If you can build the beacon on turn one, then you can start going exploring right from the start of the game. And what that means is when the first weather card gets revealed and it's got like scouts move four, you don't go, oh, I wish I'd have built the beacon. So building a beacon early on, I think is also potentially a good thing to do. But looking at the board layout as it is, if I was to build the beacon, it's a double tile. It's a big tile, large building. So it would have to go over something, which means I'm going to lose the resources. Now, I could gather the resources first. The problem is if I gather the resources from a space, then that means there's a meeple on the space, which means I then can't build the beacon on it. Um, I think that's right, isn't it? Yeah, you can't build a building on a space. The, the chat is shouting at me to build an automaton. Okay. So I'm probably going to build an automaton because that's what the chat wants me to do. To do that, the factory is going to cost me two. If I'm going to build the beacon as well, that's going to cost me three. That leaves me two wood to do another action, uh, to build something else. We could build the workshop. So we could absolutely, or we could build the gathering post. Hmm. Thing is, if I build this beacon, I don't think I can because if I if I do I'm going to have to I'm going to have to build over something and I'm going to lose all of those resources. So, let's hang fire with the beacon for now. Build a mech suit for the children. Yes, uh, yeah, we should do that. I think that's coming in the future expansion set. So, planning ahead, we're going to build if we build the factory, that's two. If we build um do we build the medical post early on? I mean, we've no sick people to start with. I don't think we started with any sick people. No sick people, no sick people, no sick people. No, nobody's sick to start with. Right, that's good. They're going to get sick. Um, yeah. I don't know. I mean, ultimately, I've just got to make a decision, haven't I? If I was to build... I'm trying to make space for the beacon. So I'm thinking... I'm thinking we lose this wood. 
I'm thinking gathering here. Skycroft says build workshop and gathering post, build automaton, remove snow with it, use gathering post. Could do. Because I can use the automaton on the turn that I, I, I build it. It's just what's the third build going to be? I mean, we probably should look at houses as well. And tents are going to get blown away by the first storm. I'm planning my first tech, yeah. Well, that's it. If we build factory, work, so, so factory, workshop, and gathering post. They could be the three initial buildings. And we do have space for those. I'd probably build the gathering post here. Um, and then the factory and the workshop, I mean, maybe, I mean, this could be a really good place for a gathering post, actually. That might be a better place for the gathering post, because then we can start to remove the coal here. And yeah, OK. Let's let, let's start planning this. Let's use a worker to build. Uh, so the gathering post is going to cost one wood. I'm going to put it there. Can I put them facing me? I can put them facing me, can't I? The workshop, that's going to get our tech up. This is if we want to bother with tech. We could just not bother with tech for the whole game. Because if these techs are actually no good for me, maybe we should be doing something else instead. I mean, that tech is really good. That allows me to gather three resources from a single space. So it, there, gone, there, gone, there, gone. But I need it now. That's that's the thing. I don't need it like tomorrow. Potentially though, we could get it quite quickly. Okay, so let's go with the workshop. Now, unfortunately, this is a red building and we're gonna have to be building it because there's very little space on spaces that are close to the generator. So yeah, we're going to do that and we're going to start researching the carrier sledge. Let's do it. It's going to take five, one, two, three, four, five. So on round six, we need the workshop for upgrading. Yes, that's true. So we do need the workshops at some point. Right now, figures. I have been gradually painting through the figures of this game slowly over the last few months. Um, I've done quite a few of them. The And some of them have had the snow effect and some of them haven't. So you're going to see figures in a variety of different states today. Um, the workshop, however, uh, this one has been painted, but has not had the snow effect yet. So you can see this one if it focuses. Yeah, so this one, this one came out quite well. Um, so that's going to go on the board. There, that's the workshop. Um, what, have we, what else have we just built? The gathering post. I'll get the figures out first and then I'll show you them. Where's the gathering post? There's the gathering post. And what was the third building we were going to build? The factory. Have I painted the factory? I haven't painted the factory yet. But the factory is going to have to go there. Um, so yeah, gathering post is here. Really happy with this one. This, this one came out really well. There's loads of different colours on this one. Um, yeah, that's the gathering post. Factory has not been painted yet. I think this is the factory. That is the factory. Right, there you go. First action has been done. I need to spend the wood. How much wood does that cost? One, two, three, four. Four wood. One, two, three, four. Okay, done. Next. We are going to send an engineer to the factory and we're going to do something that I've never done before. And that is we are going to spend our steam core and we are going to build an automaton. There you go. We have an automaton who falls over. I might actually put some like weight in these just to weigh them down a bit because they are a bit top heavy. Now, automatons, as I say, I've not. Um, why are you building the red building on the generator tile? Yeah, it's a good point. I don't know. There are there are other spaces available, aren't there? Yeah, silly me. Let's um, let's build these two over here. I thought there were no other spaces available, but actually there are. 
So, automatons. I better read about them. Automatons are created in the factory. When you gain one, take it from the supply, put it, uh, gain for the bank, put it in supply. Use it as if it's a worker, but they cannot go on expeditions. Every time you use one, you spend a cold, but automatons do not count as citizens, do not get sick, and do not need food or shelter. So, we can now use this automaton by spending a coal to fuel it up. And it can go off exploring. And I think we want it to explore so it doesn't get sick. I think we want it to explore here. So these are all these are all far tile spaces. Yeah, let's give them a shuffle. Do I need to spend a coal so the action is heated? Oh yeah, so now that um, now that those are red buildings, using the red building, you're right, I need to spend a coal to make sure that, that these red buildings are now heated. And we probably want to use the workshop as well. Yeah, no other steam cores on the map. Okay, so... Yeah, we're exploring. What have we found? We found a steam core. <laughs> and two trees. Now, those trees are in the wrong position, Gromit. But that steam core is going to be good, because then when we use the gathering post, we're going to get the steam core. Now, another thing that George told me in his strategy advice is be very, very careful about spending coal to... One coal to provide one heat is really inefficient. But if I don't do that, loads of people are going to get sick. Um... So that, that would be my concern with, with not doing it. I'm really tempted to go exploring a bit more now. Even though they're going to get sick, it means this gathering post is going to be really efficient when I use it. Um, but first... Oh, what you meant is not spend extra coal. Right, okay. Oh, I see what you mean. Right. Not spend extra coal beyond heating the buildings. Right. So I think I'm going to use the workshop. I'll come, I'll come back to that in a minute. We've got four coal left. Four coal and three wood left. We've started researching the carrier sled. And when that is finished, it's going to get there, then there, then there. So we need to get that carrier sled researched as soon as possible. Now, the other thing is I've got this call to rise card. And this is really interesting because <laughs> normally you start with two hope tokens. In this particular society, I've started with five, which means the call to rise card, I could use it right away to get uh, to get three citizen cards. Keep the engineer to an act child shelter. Yeah, I thought about that, but I really want to try and get this carrier sledge as soon as possible. Um, I mean, the child shelter will provide a home for these two kids. And it will cost me two wood to build. Where is it? Child shelter. Two wood to build. So that would be my... It would save me doing another build action and it means the kids wouldn't get sick. It does mean, however, six workers are going to get sick. And we don't want six workers to get sick. So that's why I'm also tempted. Because if I'm going to gather a wood, I'm going to get another two. That's going to give me five wood. Potentially, this could be a couple of bunkhouses. So I think I might risk a little bit more light and I might send... I might send a worker out into the cold to do another remove snow action. Another hope. Yeah, it is another hope. Oh, and then I could use the call to rise card. You mean if I enact the care house? Yeah, I probably want to exhaust the care before that, because that will probably activate the care again. But yeah, I'd get another hope. That would be six hope. Yeah, and you're absolutely right, Skycroft. In the video game, you can upgrade shelters from one to another. They decided not to have that rule in the board game, and it's a pain it's a real pain um there is a card that allows you to do it but it's a shame that that rule wasn't in there by default i guess you could house rule it if you really wanted to and say you can upgrade by using a build action and paying the difference i guess you could use that 
Uh, so yeah, we, we are going out there and we're going to explore and it doesn't actually really matter where. So I think we're going to explore here because it's closer to me for, to reach. Um, I'm just thinking about, yeah, oh, the thing is, no, I want to do there because there could be heated. Here is never heated. That's the thing. The generator only ever expands to here. So anything here would always be cold. So we're going to explore here. And it is, it's three food and a steam core. Now, that has opened up a million possibilities. Because we can now gather that steam core and that leaves that double tile free. And we could build the beacon. Oh, we could build that beacon. It could be a round one beacon. Right. So we're going to use the gathering post. Uh, the gathering post is currently don't go spending all of my coal before establishing two sawmills. That's is true. It's true. Well, I, I mean, the sawmills two wood. I'm getting carried away here, but there is wood available here. And my plan is to get carrier sledge next turn, which means that's another three wood. So I think I'm going to be OK for wood. Famous last words. I think. So we're going to use the gathering post. Now, the gathering post is currently a yellow building that is far away. So we're going to spend another two coal to make sure that that is heated. Because that stops anybody else getting sick as well. So that's that's that. The gathering post gets me. One steam core, one coal. Oh, another steam core. A wood, a wood, a coal. No, not that one, not that one. Again, getting carried away. Steam core, steam core, coal and coal. And wood. So yes, so the coal from there, the coal from there, the steam core from there, the steam core from there, and the wood from there. Yes. Don't want to use my childcare card. No, I thought about it, but it's perform this action as normal. Oh, you mean use it? Ah, yeah, I was thinking of using it for the extra bit, but no, you're right. Let's use the child meeple to do that by playing Peter Byrush. So it's perform this action as usual. There you go. So we're done. We've performed the action as usual. We didn't do the alternative effect. Yeah, George says bunkhouses are really bad. I've heard that before as well. Although it might have been you that told me bunkhouses were bad last time. Right, I'm happy with that. That was quite a good um, gathering post thing. So, I'm, I'm, I am so tempted by this beacon. I've got to do it. Okay, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for it. I am going to use the engineer on the workshop, which is heated, to... Uh, move this marker back two spaces. Am I going to get it next turn? I am going to get it next turn. Okay, so that's gone back two spaces. I'm then going to send this worker to this space, which is heated, to get the two wood. I'm then going to send this worker to build, and we're going to build the beacon, which costs three wood. Now, I haven't painted the beacon yet. One, two, three. Um, so if tents are really bad, well, if bunk houses are really bad, <laughs> then do I build a tent? But the problem is the tent's going to get blown away. At least the bunk houses last until the first store. But we've got other options. We've got a hunter's hut that could provide us with a regular source of uh, food, which is pretty good. Uh, we could build another workshop, but I don't really want to build two workshops. Um, and we've got the charcoal kiln. The charcoal kiln is a good source of coal if you've got a regular income of wood but i don't at the moment we've also got the sawmill i could build this sawmill here to keep george happy because if if we don't keep george happy then yeah bad things can happen and we do need food we do absolutely need food this round we're going to have to feed seven kids and we've only got five food and the next round it's going to get even worse so there is the sawmill uh we've got three food left so i'm thinking Either sawmill and gathering, uh, sawmill and hunters hut. We don't need another gathering post, do we? No. 
Um, I mean, we've got we've got two steam calls. Do we want to get excited and start building a hot house? No. So I'm thinking sawmill and hunter's hut. That's what I'm thinking. But but we've not got any shelters for the people to sleep in. That's the biggest problem. And we're just going to get a huge amount of sick workers. The problem with this sawmill here is we're only going to use it for two turns. But that's going to be six wood over two turns. That could be pretty good. That could be very good. I'm tempted to hang fire and see what's on this tile. Because if this tile has got space for a sawmill that we can upgrade, that's going to get both of those. I think that's what Sean's just saying. Yeah. Build the sawmill on the left place with trees. Build the sawmill here. Yeah, that's later on. Yeah, because yeah, there's three more chance of trees around there. Uh, what's heated at the moment? Um, yellow's heated. Yeah, so everything within one of the generator is heated at the moment. So I could go gathering this two coal here. Mm, okay. So it, it's what are we going to do? How are we going to spend this remaining three wood, which I am going to spend? It's got to be one hunter's hut at least. Uh, and the hunter's huts have been painted. Uh, two of them have had a snow effect on. Which you can just about see if, if it will focus. It's supposed to be a really quick focus, this camera. Um, as you can see, it's not. <laughs> it doesn't. Oh, there you go. Right. So, yeah, hunter's hut. Again, the snow effect looks really nice, but you can't see. There's loads of different colours on there. So anyway, that's the hunter's hut. So let's build the hunter's hut here. Oh, it looks gorgeous with these painted minis. <laughs> that one looks out of place because it's not painted. Um, we've got two wood left. Do we build a tent? Do we build a medical post? That medical post might be absolutely essential for us next turn to keep this sickness under control. Although we only have two engineers and one engineer is going to go there and another engineer is going to go there. George, you're saying a sawmill. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't want to build the sawmill here because I'm, I'm hanging fire for there. Because if that tile is great, I'm going to wait on the sawmill. Um, so, and we can fix it because I can remove snow next round with Georgia, remove, perform this action as normal except draw three par tiles and choose one to place. That will allow me to choose which tile to go here and I can make sure that it's got trees on it and there's a space there. Yeah, so I think that's what I'm going to do. Well, I know people in the chat are saying uh, saying otherwise, but but yeah, that's that's what I'm gonna do. Let everybody saying sawmill, but I think I'm gonna be okay because I've got one, two, three, four, five. Uh, I'm missing a wood. Have I have I cheated and accidentally taken a wood from there when I shouldn't have done? Ugh. Right, let me just go back and check. I started with seven. Four, five, six, seven. I built the workshop. I built the factory. And I built a gathering post. That left me with three. I then gathered and got one from there. And then I took two from there. 
and then I'm about to spend six. So yeah, I think I think I forgot to put five wood on here. Unless something's gone wrong, let me know if I've done something wrong. There was only three wood on there. So yeah, famous last words, but I think I'm going to be all right for wood next turn, which means it's either another hunter's hut and save one wood. Yeah, we'll do that. I'm going to build a second hunter's hut and we're going to save one wood. Right, let's get the other hunter's hut figure. Right, we have two workers left. We have no shelters. Everybody's going to get sick. And we're going to start getting some gravely ill people. But we're going to send a scout out on an expedition. Now then. Do we want to go for the outpost depot? Because I don't know what the outpost depots are. They look cool. <laughs> uh, and we, we might get some really good stuff. I think it might be too early. I only had four wood on the generator, y'all. Thank you very much, Benjamin, for checking. I've not broken all your advice, George. It's just, it was very different because I because of this. This particular setup here means that I know I'm going to get um, four wood next, uh, six wood next turn easily. Um, and I'm planning to build a sawmill next turn and possibly use it depending on the tile. So do we go with this one, which random stuff, or do we go with the outpost? I think I'm going to go with the outpost because I've not done it before. So we're going to use the beacon. Oh, by the way, the beacon. Um, I just realized I've left the plastic pole for the beacon downstairs. So we're just going to use the base for the beacon at the moment. Oh, can I put it in? I'll put it in. There you go. You can't see because it's overhead camera. But the plastic pole for the beacon is downstairs. And the beacon is not yet painted. Right, we've got one action left. It might be to use a hunter's hut. I think that's probably our best bet. It's spare. I don't really want to remove snow. Yeah, we'll use the hunter's hut. So action, use a hunter's hut, generates four food. Okay, that's it. Am I painting over the pre-wash? I am, and it's working absolutely fine. Uh, the first one I did, I got rid of all the pre-wash with Dettol and a toothbrush. Uh, but I didn't need to. All of the other ones, I'm just painting straight over it. I'm doing a, I'm doing a base coat first, um, and it's worked okay. Right. So we're done. That is the action phase done. We now do the dusk phase. Uh, resolve the scenario in the event display cards. We don't have any of that. Resolve a dusk card. So no new dusk cards went in. So it's literally just one of these two. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, George. Um, I did read your advice this morning, but because of the layout of the board and because of the amount of wood I started with, I, I, it's not that I'm ignoring you. I did listen. I did take it into account. Ultimately, these are my live playthroughs. And if I just exactly follow all of the advice in the chat, I used to do that and people complained. People said, Paul, you're just literally doing what the chat's telling you to do. You're not playing the game yourself. It's really hard for me to find the balance. I hope you don't think that I'm ignoring your advice. I did read through it twice this morning. But as I say, the situation is different. Okay, the card is the inevitable. Flip every sickness marker that's on its skull side to its syringe side, which is none. And for each corpse, gain one sick citizen. So this is brilliant for me because, again, with this society, we start with no corpses. So that has no effect on us whatsoever. Um, and it goes to the discard pile. It will come back. Right, brilliant. Hunger phase. No hung nobody hungry from yesterday. Um, reset the hunger marker, done that. Children need to be fed. We've got seven children, we've got nine food. We're all fine. Next, night phase. Okay, so everybody comes home apart from this one. And this is where we this is where unfortunately. They're like, OK, so, Paul, you, you built all of these shelters for us, yeah? And I'm like, uh, no, no, we did other stuff instead. So, unfortunately, all of these people get sick because they're having to sleep outside at night. So that's five, 
sick workers, two sick engineers, two sick children. Right. That's it. Round two. We've survived till round two. Huzzah. <laughs> Nobody's died on round one. I think I saw somebody post on the Facebook group the other day they died on round three. Which is harsh. Right. Move the round marker. We're on round two. Morning phase. Here we go. Love these morning cards. So much theme and flavour in these morning cards. Even if they are... Painfully brutal. Benjamin won his first game this weekend. Well done. Congratulations. You're you're <laughs> a lot further ahead than me. Uh, right. A prophet. A child is having intense visions. Some people believe that she is a prophet, that her words provide hope and should guide us in these terrible times. Uh, not yours. Others say that she is controlled by her mother to coax food and fuel donations from her followers. What would you do? So option one. As long as she speaks our, our words, we can allow it. We will meet with her mother and make a deal about exactly what needs to be said. If we do that, we have to spend three resources or six food. No chance. But we lose a discontent. Not going to do that. The impossible is possible. We shall let her continue for the sake of those who find comfort in her, in her prophecies. Plus one hope and add D22 to the Dusk deck. I think we're going to do that. Or she must be stopped. We will meet with her mother and order her to put an end to this pitiful charade. Plus one anger and add D23 to the Dusk deck. We're going to allow her to just keep talking. It will be okay. Everything will be fine. So we gain a hope. I'm not going to activate that. Oh, Sean died on round two. Oh, okay. You were feeding all of the people. <laughs> So we've got motivation, which is exhausted. But now that we've got six hope, I'm going to use my call to rise card because it's never going to get better. We've got four more citizens. We'll look at them in a minute. Um, we're adding D22 to the dusk deck. D22. D22 is not here. Where's D22 gone? I obviously used it in an example. 21, 23. Right, I need to find card D22. If it's gone missing, I will need somebody to send me an image of it. Oops. The rest of these are all in order. Oh dear. 22, there it is. It's at the back. So D22 is getting shuffled into the dusk deck. Right, that is the morning phase done. Right, let's have a look at these extra citizens that we just got. So we just got, it's over there that it's focusing, isn't it? Well, it was, not now, it doesn't want to focus anywhere. There you go. Uh, Devetta Hen. So use the medical post, do that and also do that. Okay. Margaret Ozone. Use the medical post to cure two with a child. Should have built the medical post. Olivia Care Bear, plus one hope or minus one discontent if you use the platform. Meh. Do I have Pauline Grogan? I do not have Pauline Grogan, no. <laughs> She's useless. Um, if I use the medical post infirmary or care house, activate care, perform the building secure effect. Okay, so all, all good. Gives me lots of options of what I want to do. Um... Right, generator phase. So fuel the generator. I don't need to fuel the generator. Gain six citizens. No drop coal. We're dropping three coal in. Um, and bit of a secret. 90 seconds before I was due to go live. Literally, the video was live. The countdown was running today. I realised that I don't have the cubes for this game. I don't know where they are. I've put them somewhere safe. So I had to very quickly rush into the other room, grab a copy of Brass Lancashire, get the coal cubes from Brass Lancashire and I got here with four seconds left. So there you go. Behind the scenes views of what goes on. Anyway, three coal are going in. That sounded like at least one. It was, it was one. Okay, so one coal has come out. We're fine. 
Uh, place any cubes on the... Done that, done that, done that. Right, the weather phase. Just going to shuffle these. Right, we've got... Uh, cold moves up by one. Oh, I need to reset the heat marker. Uh, the yellow moves up by one. Uh, hunter's Hut provide one food each. We have two Hunter's Huts. We get two food. Uh, expeditions move two spaces. Ah! That's annoying. That's really annoying. Uh, and the storm moves two spaces towards us. Right, okay. That's the weather phase done. Preparation phase. Um, yeah, okay. Let's use the health advisor. We're going to exhaust care to cure two because that means it's gone below the threshold, um, which means we don't have any sickness markers. We don't have any sickness effects, so we're good. Action phase. Right, off we go. This turn, we're building a sawmill. Promise. Scout's honour. But first, before we do that... <laughs> Before we do that, uh, we are going to send Georgia Tower to remove snow. So Georgia gets sick. Uh, I've already called for citizens. I've, I've already done it. I've got, I've got loads in hand. Uh, and we're going to use Georgia's ability. So we are removing snow. So she's got sick. Perform this action as normal, except we're drawing three fire tiles and choosing one to place. And each of the other two go on top or the bottom of the far tiles stack. So, good old Georgia. I'm going to put that there to remind me that we've used a card this turn. So, I'm having a look at these three tiles. And there is the perfect one. Look at that. Told you I was right to wait. Not only does it have four trees on it, it has a space for a sawmill. That possibly might be the perfect tile. Now, these can go on the bottom or the top, depending on where we want them. We have a steam core here and two coal. Here we have three coal and two coal. I think, how many more times are we going to use that gathering post? Probably twice. So I'm thinking that one is going to go there. So I'm going to leave that on top and this one is full of coal. I'm actually going to put this on the bottom because, as George said earlier on, this is a good place for a sawmill if I can get trees here. So by putting that one on the bottom, I just need to explore there next. And I think that's what we're going to do with an automaton. And we need the coal. We need, we need all of the other stuff. Yes, right. So... First of all, I am going to spend one coal to fuel the generator so that red buildings are now heated. The engineer is going to use the workshop and we are going to bring this technology marker two spaces forward, which means we have developed the carrier sledge. And then we start another one. So I'm actually going to start researching hunting tactics, which goes four rounds ahead. One, two, three, four. Right, now we can perform the gather resources action and we can get three resources and we can get all of that wood. But how much more coal do I want to spend first? I think I need to spend... I also want to explore there. Okay, we're going to spend one coal and we're going to use the automaton to explore to remove snow. Oh, look. It's a steam core. And it's too cold. Right. Then we want to use that gathering post. But I don't have enough coal to get that heated all that way. So I am going to use these two coal to heat it to there. That means, and in fact, I don't need to do that. I don't need to do that yet. The generator tile is already heated, which means I can use this worker on here to get two coal. Mm -hmm. 
Right. Now we can spend three of that coal so that the yellow buildings are heated. And I'm going to use this worker on the gathering post to gather the steam core, the coal, the coal, the coal, and the wood. Right. Then we're going to send this worker out to use the gather resources action here, but I get all of it. Because of the carrier sledge, and it's heated because of that. So there you go. There's that. Right. Right. I think I want to use the engineer in the factory. Spend a steam core, build a second automaton. There you go. I've never had one before. Now I've got two. Yeah, I'm not bothering with the laws, am I, at the moment? I should gather three coal, not two, because of the tech. Where? No, the tech was for here. The tech didn't affect the gathering post. Oh, sorry. Here. Oh, absolutely. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, which means I can gather the three wood here as well. Okay, well, that, that's awesome. But, yes, that's what we want to do. So we want to send that automaton there to get that three wood. Thank you very much. It's three resources. There you go. See, I said we'd be all right for wood. Um... And now we build. Now that's on that space, so I can't build anything on that space this turn. But we have plenty of other spaces that we can build on. And in fact, yeah, I can build on that space as well. So we're not using the sawmill this turn, but that's fine. That's fine. So we're going to build. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four five six seven eight wood two of which is going to be on the sawmill which is going to be there and i've painted the sawmills these came out really nice i'm really happy with how these came out um yeah there's a there's a whole load of different colors here and i used the contrast paint on the wood itself uh the rest of it is not contrast paints but it, it was for the um for the wood so yeah sawmills came out really nicely so we've built a sawmill that costs two wood. We have loads of wood left. OK, do we want to go? A side of you from the other camera. Yeah, sure. Let's zoom out. Yeah, so that's what it looks like with the buildings. As I say, that beacon should be higher. Um, because the, the pole is downstairs. Right. So we've built a sawmill. I'm happy with that sawmill. That sawmill is going to be great for us for the for the next eight rounds, should we last that long. We're going to have to upgrade it after four. But that's OK. Um, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six. We have six. We've got two more builds left. We've built a sawmill. Two more builds left. We do have steam cores. So we've got an infirmary. If we really wanted to build an infirmary, I don't think we do. Don't need to build another gathering post. This coal is going to run out soon. Yeah, I'm, I was thinking house and tent as well. I just didn't know whether I wanted to build any more hunter's huts. No, I think I think it's going to be house and tent. So one house, one tent. That's six wood. Now, next round, we're going to have a problem with wood. I'm going to get two, three, six. Oh, actually, we're going to get six. It's not too bad. 
So one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, the house that we're about to put on the board is actually the first figure that I painted. The first figure that I painted in all of this was a house. It's going to go over there. So let's have a look at the house. Uh, and let's have a look at the tents. So there's a tent. Where's my house? There's my house. So this house has not had the snow effect yet. Um, it's had some dry brushing in white, but it, it hasn't had the full snow effect. But yeah, this is the first one that I painted. Uh, and this took me about three, three and a half hours, I think. I'm painting them quicker now. Um, this is one of the tents. This has had the snow effect. Let's get it zoomed in there. So yeah, you can see the snow effect on there has come out come out quite nice anyway so the house is going over here and the tent is going over here right awesome is that it i think that's it i think that's the building action done i'd love some more actions <laughs> but yeah we're done at the end of the action phase so dusk phase we are Revealing and resolving a Dusk card. So we've got two cards in here. One of them is the Confusion card. Am I using the Citadel Snow Effect texture? No, I'm using the Vallejo one because I think the Citadel one is better for 25 mil figures. Um, I did start using my own, uh, but then I bought the Vallejo one. So yeah, it's, it's a Vallejo Snow Effect and it's better for this scale of miniatures. The Citadel one is probably better for bigger miniatures. So... Let's see what card we've got. It is, it's the inevitable, it's not, it's the social dispute card. So confusion. If you have more hope tokens than discontent tokens. Yes, I do. So I can exhaust uh, justice to discard this, or I can exhaust care to cure three. Totally. There you go. One, two, three. Nice. And that's that social dispute card gone from the game. The next social dispute card is coming in. And this is indecision. If you have any active hope or discontent for your most common one, stuff happens. So right now, if this was to happen, we would get the benefit of justice because that's our, our most active one. But that gets shuffled in with that and that. How am I doing with the rules? I've not looked up a single rule yet. And I think apart from what the fighting arena did, in terms of the actual rules of the game, I don't think I've looked anything up. And I don't think I've forgotten anything yet. The one thing that I normally forget is that uh, when you introduce a new law, I forget to shuffle the law consequence card into the deck, but I'm not introducing any laws in this game. So there you go. I've not forgotten that. That's the dusk phase done. Hunger phase. Okay. We've got eight hungry engineers and only four food. So I'm sorry, but four of those engineers have gone hungry. Um... Next is the night phase. Right, okay, well now we've got somewhere for you to sleep. Not not many, but we, we have something. So come home, come home, come home and come home. Right, so we have a nice, a nice house which is heated and we have a tent which is also heated. So the kids are going in the tent um, and two of the workers are gonna go in the house. So what that means is we have three sick workers, one, two, three, and two sick engineers. Okay, that's that sorted. Next round, round three. That moves to there. I'm going to get that. Oh, I thought I was going to get the hunting tactics this turn. It went one, two, three, four. Oh, I didn't use it. I didn't use the workshop. Yeah, rats. Okay, um, so yeah, we've done the round marker, nothing triggers, morning phase. Youth gang on the streets, lack of attention, weight of the times we live in, rebelling against the rules, who knows what has driven these teenagers to form a gang. What is known, what is, known is that they get cockier each day. Right, one, option one, they need to be dealt with publicly and put under house arrest until they come to their senses. 
only if you have active justice, which we do. If we do that, plus one discontent, but then in the action phase, child meeples cannot be used, which is fine, because we're not using them anyway. And in the night phase, choose and lay down child meeples first. Now, I think that means choose and lay down child meeples first. Does that mean we... I don't quite know what that means. Because you lay them down when they've got somewhere to sleep. So does that mean we lay them down and we don't need to provide them a home because they're out causing trouble? Is that right? Or does it mean they have to be sheltered first? I guess it means they have to be sheltered first because we're putting them under house arrest. Okay, yeah. So it probably should say you must shelter child meeples before any other ones. Or option two, Peter's already said option one, but option two, send someone sensible to talk with them. Show them that we care. Place one spent worker token in the supply and add D38 to the dusk deck. Okay, or option three, they're only children, don't worry. Plus one discontent. Add D39 to the dusk deck. Now, I've not played with this card before. This is the first time I've seen it. So I don't know whether cards D38 and D39 are good or bad. I would suspect that D39 is bad and they probably burned down a building. D38 might be good. But I think we're going to go with option one. Only if you have active justice, which we do, but it doesn't exhaust the justice. So, plus one discontent. I am going to draw another discontent out of the bag. Rather than activating that one. It's... Uh, apathy. I think that's apathy. Right, so uh, for this round, the child meeples may not be used, which is fine, because we're not doing anything anyway with them, and I'm going to have to home them first, which I was probably going to do anyway. Right, so that's the morning phase done. Generator phase. We don't want to fuel the generator. No six citizens. We're dropping three brass Lancashire coal in. What's come out? Two has come out. No, three has come out. Okay, so I think there is two still in there. Very careful not to knock the generator. Two, three. Okay, so we're all right for the generator at the moment. Uh, reset the heat marker. We're done. Weather phase. Ch child shelter this round. I was, yeah, I was thinking about that. I was thinking about that. Um, right, weather phase. Okay, so not bad. Cold marker goes up by one. Yellow marker goes up by one. Hunter's huts provide one food each. Our scout advances two spaces and the storm moves two spaces closer towards us. So, new card, never seen these before. We have reached the end of the outpost depot. So let's see what it is. There we go. Uh, we found a source of steam cores. What a find. Inside a shipwreck, we found a whole cargo of steam cores. Unfortunately, they're trapped inside a thick layer of ice. So we have an option. We can either return back. This is a real treasure, but our priorities lay elsewhere. We gain a steam core and two coal. It's not bad. Or we prepare the site. Place this card beneath the outpost card with only the information shown below visible. Steam core. Unlock the steam core outpost depot building cost two wood to build. I don't think we need a steam core depot because we've got lots of steam cores already. So I'm thinking we just we just grab that. Gain a steam core and the two coal and we be done with it. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So I gain a steam core and two coal. The scouts come home. We're very, very happy with them. Thank you very much. You did grand. Um, and the card is gone. Yeah, now that, that icon there, as I say, I've never played with these cards before. So I don't quite know what that means. Oh, with the information shown below. Prepare the site, place this card. I'm going to have to read what that does the next time. And we are going to send another scout out this turn. 
if anybody else knows how the Steam Core things work, I mean, it did say you can build them once you've uh, once you've found it, but we've scrapped that. We're not building an outpost. Yeah. Right. That was the weather phase done. The storm's getting closer. That those tents, they're not going to last long. So they're going to turn to ruins very soon. Right. Preparation phase. Choose advisor. We have a health advisor. We cannot use the health advisor because we have no active care. Unfortunately. So we resolve sickness markers. We have five sick workers, which means one of them is now gravely ill. OK, we got that to sort out as well. Action phase. Off we go. Well, we've got two automatons now, which is great. Those two automatons can go off removing snow and they never get sick. So that's probably the best use for the automatons. Um, we've got plenty of coal and we've got more to gather. There's plenty more coal available for us. Um, food is the issue. Food is the big issue. So we're probably going to have to send workers to the hunter's huts to generate food. But also this round, we need to feed 26 workers. We have got no food, which means we need 26 food either this round or next round to sort out the hungry people. That's the problem. Food is our biggest problem right now. Um, we also want to get that hunting tactics up as soon as possible. And we talked about introducing the child shelter. So if we bring in the child shelter, this will activate care. Oh no, that's the care house. Care house is two wood to build. The child shelter is two wood to build and it increases hope, which means we can activate the care. Which means we can then cure next turn. Oh, there's so many things I want to do. Or do we do makeshift shelters? Each of your ruins counts as a shelter. If heated, it provides one sleeping slot. Sleeping shot? Sleeping slot. Sleeping slot. Yeah, we could do that instead of the crowded quarters. Don't really like the crowded quarters. Food additives. Mm. Yeah, I mean, our discontent is okay. Child labour. We've not, we've not brought child labour in yet. And we've got... Um, we got these cards. We got loads of these cards. Which one of these am I going to use this round? Uh, that allows me to spend food, so that's no good. Uh, reuse a building. That could be quite useful. Perform three workshop effects. One, two, three. Oh, that'd be good. But we don't need three workshop effects. Oh, unless we're going to upgrade. But we don't need to upgrade just yet. Yeah, I don't need to remove snow this round. Absolutely, I don't need to remove snow. I can't use child meeples. Yeah, no, I wasn't I wasn't considering child labour. But the reason why I'm thinking using the automatons to remove snow is that they don't get sick from the cold. Ah, but I could send the automaton over here. Oh no, all I need is too cold and that's heated. Yeah. <laughs> No, discontent is definitely okay at the moment. Food is the biggest issue. Food right now is the biggest issue. We have three steam cores. If there was a double space available, we could absolutely build a hothouse and use it. But we don't. But we could upgrade. We could upgrade both of those hunter huts. Yeah. That's what we could do. That's going to because we need lots of food this turn. And if we send an engineer to the workshop, if it was Adele Kwapinski, we'd perform three workshop effects. So it could be upgrade, upgrade. It could be another upgrade. Now. What upgrade do we want to do? Upgrading the gathering post just gives it more insulation. We don't need to do that. We do need to upgrade the sawmill at some point in the game. And does it turn it into red? It does turn it into red. 
Okay, that's what we're going to do. Yeah, or move up the tech, because the thing is, I'm likely to... Am I going to get that this turn? No, I'm not going to get... I'll, I move the tech to there, and then that goes to there, and I'm one turn away. Ah. I think we're just going to get that when we get it. So we are going to send an engineer to the workshop. It is going to be Adele Kwapinski. Thank you very much, Adele. We perform three workshop effects. Two of them. Oh, no, hang on a minute. Hang on. Rewind. Rewind. We have no wood. So we can't do that. <laughs> yeah, we can't do that just yet. So uh, hang fire. Let, let's, let's get some wood. Right, which means we need some coal. One, two, three, four, five coal to put us up to there. Yeah, it's got to be done. So one, two, three, four, five coal. There you go. Right. So everything, all of the buildings are heated. Yeah, autonomous to the gather. Yeah, it could do, but I also need to use the gathering post. I also need to use the sawmill. So I think I'm going to have to go up to there anyway, or maybe we don't. Hmm. So I've got two automatons. If one so the orange one's heated, is this gathering post? So I if I used an automaton on the gathering post, then actually one, two, three. Let's put that back. I can have three coal back. Yeah, so the automaton could use the gathering post and doesn't get coal. The worker can use the sawmill. Hey, Loki. Yeah. It's it's 2.30 Loki calls time. Yeah, you're coming up. Yeah, I think let's do that. Okay, so, so I've heated the orange for this worker to use the sawmill. Bzz, chop down the tree, get three wood. Georgie's happy. Oh dear. Has mummy not fed you? Come on. There you go. Say hello. Mm, camera. What do you think we should do, Loki? Oi. <laughs> uh, so that's that done. Right. Uh, the automaton is going to use the gathering post. So that gets the last coal from there, the last coal from there, the last coal from there, the last wood from there. So that's it. That gathering post is now of no use whatsoever. And we have loads and loads of coal. I have more steam coals than I'd ever seen before. That worker didn't get sick. No, the automaton didn't get sick. No. We are sending another worker out on another outpost expedition. Definitely doing that. Right. So now that we've got the wood, now we can send the engineer to the workshop. And it's going to be Adele Kopinski. We have three workshop effects. The first two are to spend a wood and another wood to upgrade both of these hunter's huts. That's now going to generate us four wood every turn. And even more once we've got this hunting tactics in play. We've got a third workshop effect. Is it going to be... I mean, do we need to upgrade anything else? I don't think we do. As I do need to upgrade the sawmill at some point. Did I spend a call for the automaton? I did not. Thank you very much. I did forget to do that. 
So we're going to do the tech research. Yeah. So we'll do one tech research with the third effect. Right. Oh, upgrade the beacon. How much is upgrading the beacon? Upgrading the beacon is a steam core. Oh, hang on. Exciting times. Yes. I got you can upgrade the beacon. Go on then. Let's upgrade the beacon. I don't think I've ever done that before. Beacon is upgraded. Which means we can send another one out. Let's send them out here. I'm confident that we're going to get a three next. Thank you, chat, for the suggestions on that one. Okay, that's also two less people that we need to um, find homes for. Now, the wood situation is, is, is okay this round because we are also going to use this automaton. Now, is it warm here? It's not warm here. I got four I got four actions left. I don't think I'm going to use those four actions. Oh no, hunter's huts. Worker on the hunter's hut, worker on the hunter's hut. Ten food. Right. It's not going to be near enough. It's definitely not going to be enough. Um So the automaton goes gathering here. I spend the coal to use the automaton, but he doesn't get cold. And because of my carrier sledge, I get all of these through. Not to tree over. Okay, and then we have one worker left and we have four wood. I could just build another house. I am very tempted to build another house. It's a little bit of a waste using one worker to uh, build one thing when you get three builds. I've got an engineer. Got an engineer. We haven't passed the law yet. Yeah. Can I remove the gathering post? I don't think I can remove the gathering post because I don't think you can dismantle a building that's got a worker on it. Uncover snow. I wasn't going to remove snow because removing snow is cold and people will get sick. I need to cure this one. If I don't cure this one, we've got a death next turn. Ugh. Suddenly it's all gone. Yeah, so there was, the, there was the child shelter. If we introduce the child shelter law, we can activate the care. And that gives an extra two. That means the, the, the workers can sleep in the tent tonight instead of the kids because the kids are sleeping in the child shelter. So this is this is an option. Don't, don't definitely don't want that one. Heated meals is of no use to me whatsoever. Time to rest. We did look at this, didn't we? Once per round, you can exhaust a justice, put a spent worker in the supply. If you do, I can activate care and motivation. That seems really good as well. I think it's going to be the child shelter. Yeah, because it is a good dust card that goes in. Okay, yeah, we're going to do it. We're going to send the engineer to the platform and we're going to introduce child shelter. So this activates, uh, oh, sorry, it increases hope. So I'm going to activate care and we put, uh, we get the law consequence cards, uh, L02A and L02B that I think are both good. going in there it's four cards here now one of them is the inevitable that won't hurt no will hurt me
Right. So we've done that, we've done that, we've done that. And when it's introduced, I can spend two of those to build the child shelter that is half painted um, and reduce, yeah, child labor, child labor law is gone. That, that cannot be introduced. There you go. So where's the child shelter going? It is a, where is it? It's a red building, I think. Thought it was here. Child shelter. Orange building. Um let's put it here next to the factory. So if you want to see what the figures look like when they are just about when they're starting being painted, uh, this is it. So this is this has had some of the base coats of the paint uh, it's not completely finished and it's not had any shading so the next stage is that it will have the shading and then it will have the white dry brushing then i'll be painting these bits here and then it will have the snow effect so it's probably about another hour to go on that one um but that's the child shelter right next we have one worker left. What are we going to do? I'm quite excited by this. We've got two automatons. I'm on two different expeditions. It already feels like I'm doing a lot better than in previous games, but we're probably going to die on round seven again because that's what happens. Um, I mean, I could just gather. I, I could just grab these. Is it heated? This is, this is not heated. This is. So buildings have been used, that building's been used. I can't use the factory. Could use the cookhouse. Do have the three food. It's not worth it. Um, yeah, I think, I think we're just going to gather this two coal. There you go. That's it. Action phase is over. Dusk phase. Here we go. Let's see what we get. Indecision. It's a social dispute card. The risk of a wrong decision is preferable to the terror of indecision. I will need to head to the first ring either way to sleep in the tent. Ah, uh, that's a very good point. That's a very good point. So maybe I should have not built that tent there. It's going to cost me three. Yeah, OK. We'll spend the three coal. I'm just going to slight undo and instead of gathering the two coal from there I'll gather the two coal and the one wood from there using that okay we're good meanwhile if you have any active hope or discontent we do for your most common active token which is justice for each active justice exhaust one discontent or activate one hope well that's amazing that means i'm going to activate that and i'm going to activate that there you go done that's gone from the game the next social dispute card is doubt if you have more active hope than active discontent you... so actually this this citizen is really good did we only need to heat it by two? Oh, we did because of the ring yeah, I'll have a call back. Thank you. Yeah, because of starting Society 5, our social, our social dispute cards are actually pretty good for us. Right, we need to sort out the four hungry engineers from yesterday. So we'll do that. Now we need to feed the 26 workers for today. We have eight food. Oh dear. 18 workers are hungry. That means we need to produce 18 food minimum this round. Otherwise, we've got some bad stuff going on. Right. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Night phase. Oh, yeah. After the huts. Yeah. 
Um, right, okay, so who's got somewhere warm to sleep? Well, the kids, we have to provide a home for the kids because they're under house arrest. I love that card, it's just brilliant. We need that for Columpton. Um, is that it? I think that's it, there we go. Um, so yeah, so the child shelter, there's the kids. We've got the tent uh, for these two workers here. And we've got that house over there for one worker and one engineer. No, in fact, make that two engineers. No, make that two workers. So two workers in that tent, two workers in that house, two workers out here, two kids in the child shelter. The engineers have got nowhere warm to sleep. So two engineers get sick. Yeah, another of the tips from George that he sent me was there are certain situations where you just want to soak up the hunger because, to be honest, and, and we might be in that situation right now. If I've got four hunger, then that's one discontent and then the hunger goes to zero. I can deal with that discontent and it saves me four food. So there are times where you might just want to accept what you don't want to do is five hunger because then you start getting people dying. People dying is bad. Okay, have we done the night phase? Have we done the sickness? I think we have. Right, round four. We have an event trigger token. I've completely forgotten about this. <laughs> but have we built the beacon? Yes, we have. We built it on round one. Uh, the beacon is lit. Plus one hope or minus one discontent. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's lose the greed. Even though it wasn't even active. And then reveal and resolve S02. S02, finding winter home. I'm not going to read the flavour. I've already done that in previous videos. But we get S05 face up in the scenario display. Uh, in the expedition display. And now we choose A or B. So we can either, basically some extra people have arrived. We can either let them enter our city. We gain a hope. We gain five workers, one engineer, and three children. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, those five workers is not going to give us another meeple. The one engineer is not going to give us another meeple. The children is going to give us another meeple, but we can't use the children. So, actually, letting the refugees into our city doesn't really gain us anything. Except it gains us plus one hope. Whereas if we send them to look for another place to live, we lose a hope. And right now, I think we are okay at losing a hope. As much as I want to be the nice guy and let them enter our city, we currently don't have the infrastructure. Yeah, and this worker is going to get more people as well. Oh, right. Okay. So actually, the combination of the two, more people from this and more people from this, it's a bit of a risk. But OK, we'll, 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 we'll do it. We'll let the refugees enter our city. Gulp. We gain a hope. I've never, I've never seen the hope max. Then again, we did start with five. Gain five workers. Gain one engineer. And three children. And the card is removed from the game. Right. So, and we can't go on this expedition until one of these two has finished. The next scenario trigger token is on round 11. And when we get to round 11, something happens. Okay. And yeah, more huts, more shelters. Yeah. If only I'd built a sawmill on round one. I mean, why didn't you tell why didn't somebody in the chat tell me to build a sawmill on round one? Joking. No, we're all right. We're doing okay. I mean it's fun, it's enjoyable, right? This is one of those games where I don't mind dying because the just the thrill in the experience of playing the game is just so immersive and so engrossing. Okay. 
we've done. We've done Dawn Phase, right? Morning Phase. This is where it all goes wrong. Where would I place this game in my top 10 survival games? Well, to be honest, I don't know whether I have 10 survival games. So this is definitely in my top 10 survival games. Um, give me a list of other survival games, uh, but this is probably number one, to be honest. I don't have that many of them, but this is probably number one. I mean, do you class Spirit Island as a survival game? In which case, this is probably number two. Right, prostitution. Some citizens are selling their bodies for additional food rations and other goods. Do we want to turn a blind eye to this? La 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 la, not listening. Add D33 to the dust deck. Or start a public campaign about this morality that will stop this harmful practice only if we exhaust our hope. We've got plenty of hope. Or... Select one street to become the red light district. At least it will happen when and where we allow it. I think because we've got all of this hope, we are going to stamp this out. We are going to exhaust justice. Uh, and we are going to start a public campaign about this morality and stop this harmful practice. Robinson Crusoe, this war of mine. So this war of mine I do not have uh, and I've never played it. Robinson Crusoe I do have and it's good. But this is this is much, much better. Right. That's the morning phase done. Generator phase. If we don't fuel the generator with one coal, we gain a sick kid. But as George says, that's quite inefficient. So we're not going to do it. And that kid that gets sick, blame George. Um, I'm only joking, George. It's good advice. So we are now dropping three. Oh, also, if we increase it to here, we'd be dropping four coal in. And we don't want to do that. We only want to drop three coal in. Let's get my brass Lancashire pieces. One, two, three. Three. Three coals going in. Well, two coals going in. And then an extra one. And unfortunately, four have come out. Right, that means I think we're in danger of that generator malfunctioning next round. So we need to do something about that. That's fine. Although we've only got two engineers. For now, we might have a third one in a minute. Uh, placing the cube, done that. Check for generator breakdown. Generator has not broken down. Reset the heat marker. Okay. Next, the weather phase. Now we want this to be a three. If this isn't a three, then there may be tears. It's a three. Look at that. There is no tears before bedtime. Right. First of all, uh, that marker moves up one. That marker moves up one. That marker moves up one. We've been okay with those markers. Hunter's huts. I get four food. Both of these advance three spaces. And the storm marker moves one. Now, the storm marker has hit, which means it's going to be resolved now. In fact, where is the storm marker? Where is the storm card? Uh, storm. I think the, the yeah. I think the storm is resolved now. So we've got all sorts of things happen. First of all, we have this outpost depot, and we have the ruins. I'm going to resolve the ruins first. Um, do we want to carry on? We we don't have to have this, but we're going to have it. Hades. Overcoming a steep ridge, we saw what looked like an abandoned mine. Some people were standing at the entrance. Suddenly, we heard a loud crack and felt a quake, and a dusty cloud came out of the tunnel. The people at the entrance rushed inside. We can either join them and help look for survivors, or wait and take whomever is left alive back with us. So we can gather the few survivors and we gain three workers. Or... Rush to help rescue those buried alive. If we do that, we gain a hope. We gain four workers. We gain two engineers. But we get one sick worker and one engineer. Sorry, one sick worker and one sick engineer. We want the extra engineer. Okay, we're going to do it. And yes, I don't class Seventh Continent as a survival game. Um... 
Okay, we are going to rush in and we're going to rescue those buried alive. We gain one hope. We gain four workers. We gain two engineers. But one of the engineers is sick and one of the workers is sick. Okay, that's that gone. And we get a B card comes in and the worker comes back home. Right. Then on the outpost card, we found a source of coal. What first seemed like a cave turned out to be a recently abandoned mine. The equipment, a pile of coal and the miners, it was all there, undisturbed for weeks, maybe months. So we can return. We should take whatever we can salvage and leave this place be. It's a tomb and it shall remain one. We gain one steam core and two coal or we prepare the site. Now I'm going to prepare the site mainly because we need a source of coal and I want to understand how these outposts work. I've not played this scenario before. So place this card beneath the outpost card with only the information shown below visible. So what it says is, if you can see there, there's a coal icon and it says unlock the coal outpost depot building. The coal outpost depot costs two wood to build. So it's saying that that actually goes there. Now, we so we also have this outpost depot. You may unlock outpost depot buildings by completing outpost expedition cards, which we have. Each outpost depot building costs two wood to build. And we know it can only be built on this space or this space. Uh, oh, that's gone now. Um, when the first outpost depot building is built, place the stockpile marker on the zero space of the supplies transport track, which is this. Each time the stockpile marker moves onto the outpost space, any remaining movement is lost. Gain the food or resources shown. Uh, OK, it basically, it provides you a continual. So nice. OK, so whenever you get movement for the scouts, you also get movement for this. And when it gets to the end you get what's printed on here, which will be six coal. Right, OK, so that's how that works. Nice. It's coal ev arriving every every two turns, maybe. Yeah, probably every couple of turns. Right, OK, so I understand how that works. Uh, oh, the A card should be on the white side. You're right, it should, because the next one is further away. There you go. A rule I got wrong. I did know that, I just forgot. Thank you, Benjamin, for that. What else is happening? The storm. The storm has hit. If it is round seven or earlier, yes, go to one. We're hit by heavy snowfall. Flip all tents to the ruin side. Boo. Um, on the map and the buildings board. So we can't build them. Uh, place the storm marker on round 12. There you go. Yeah. Okay, so we can't use those tents anymore unless we introduce the law makeshift shelters. Right. I think I need a cup of tea, and unfortunately there is nobody in the house that can make me a cup of tea. Uh, Thor is out and about hunting birds, probably, uh, and Loki is asleep in the other room. So I'm going to pop downstairs and make a cup of tea. If you wanted to just pop away for a minute, uh, this is a good time to do it, but I'm just going to get before the action phase first. So we've done the weather card. That's all done. It's the preparation phase. I am going to exhaust care to cure two and I'm going to cure sick workers. This, I'm just going to show you this. This has been through um, careful planning. So I've just managed to reduce the number of sick workers down to four, which means that marker is not going to flip over. That one is, but that's not going to cause anybody to die. So we're not going to have any deaths this round. So that's good. Uh, so resolve sickness marker effects. One of the engineers is now gravely ill. And we are now going to go to the action phase. So as I say, I'm just going to pop downstairs and make a cup of tea. I will be back in about a minute. So yeah, stretch your legs. Join me again in a minute. See you soon.
Right, back. Got my cup of tea. How's everybody doing? Any suggestions about what I do next? Uh, yeah, we're in the action phase. What round is it? Is it round four? I think it's round four. Yeah, because we've had three weather cards. That means we're in round four. I need to check the number of workers and this one comes home as well. So we should have seven workers. We should have three engineers and three children. So we've got loads of extra actions and we don't actually have that many actions on the board. Right, so the wood situation. It's okay. I think I think the wood situation is okay. I think. The problem is I really want to use that workshop. No, I only need to do it one. And the other one is going to be to upgrade the sawmill. We need to start removing these trees so that we can build an outpost depot there. Yeah, I mean, that's that's an obvious move. So let's do that first. Let's, thankfully, this marker is still here. So it's only one coal to make red buildings heated. We're going to send an engineer to the workshop. The first workshop action is to start working on that technology. And the second one is to spend one wood to upgrade the sawmill to an upgraded sawmill, which can now start taking trees from adjacent places. Right, first action done. Second action, we'll send a worker to the sawmill. And we're gonna chop this tree down for three wood. We need to start building houses as well. So I think on this big uh, set of messages that I had from George, he said, if you look at how much wood you need to spend in the whole game, you need to spend, I think it's like between 40 and 50 wood in the game. And that's why you need to look at the board at the start of the game and go, well, wait a minute, there's only 10 here. You, you need a way of generating that extra wood. And if we look at the situation now, there is no more wood on the board. But there is a potential, uh, what we got, six, 18 wood here available in the trees. Again, that's not enough. So longer term... Oh, we need to add D33 to the deck, do we? Thank you, Peter. What was that for? The prostitution card? Yeah, we need to look at getting another source of wood. Prostitution, what did we do? No, we didn't. We um, we started the public campaign about this morality, so we're okay. Yeah, the D33 was only if you turn a blind eye to it. So... Uh, yes, and, and the two workers that we're going to send on expeditions, they don't count for the number of uh, places that we need to sleep. But right now, we've only got homes for two people. And we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we need we need six more homes for people. We do have a card that allows us to reuse a building. Yes, there was one citizen card um, that allows us... Which one was it? Yeah, Paul Unclestone. If we use the platform, then instead of using the platform to introduce a law, we can reuse a building. So that could reuse. It could it could totally reuse the sawmill again. Yeah, child shelter has got the kids. The child child shelter, three kids. That's that's fine. So, yeah, two homes is what I'm thinking. I, I, so yeah, potentially, I think we need to remove snow. I, I think this is the round we need to be removing snow and trying to find some extra food, some extra wood maybe, and a, a place for our second sawmill down here. I think that's what we need to be doing. God, I love this game. This is so good. 
thank you to Glass Cannon Unplugged and thank you to Adam Kopinski and thank you to the development team for all of their hard work that they uh, they put into this game because it is such an incredible game. I can't see me playing this game on the normal mode. This, this as far as I'm concerned, is, is hard enough for me. So these new Explorer difficulty levels, yeah, I'm happy with those. <laughs> right. So, I think we're going removing snow. And we might as well use the automatons because removing snow is always cold. So let's remove snow. And we're hoping it's got trees on it. Oh, you're thinking reuse the sawmill to get rid of that to rebuild the depot? To build the depot? Yeah, we could do. Could absolutely do that. Right, we found three coal, no trees. Uh, it's there, isn't it? Removing snow, yeah. So we found three coal, but no trees, and two, can, two, two packs of Jaffa Cakes. Uh, and then the other automaton is going to remove snow there. Oh, I need to spend coal for these two automatons. Okay, and we found... No, let's let's do there instead. Five food, which is great, but no trees. So we're not looking very good. So this is probably the best place for the sawmill. In the hope that we get trees there. Okay. Um, because the red buildings are heated, we're just going to use the two hunters hooks right now to generate 10 food because I absolutely have to do that. There you go. That has sorted out the food situation. Which is great. The next situation is sick people. We are going to have some deaths soon unless we can cure some of these engineers. Even if we find homes for them all, uh there's still seven of them sick so i'm thinking that we might oh did i use my health advisor i did use my health advisor yes i did use my health advisor um yeah you're right i i could have left the four food but no that's no, that's fine. That's fine. We'll, we'll go for the extra food because I've got all of these workers and I don't have enough actions for them to do. We have a factory. We could build another automaton. We, we have two steam cores. Uh, and because this is a map where you don't use the wall drill and you don't use the coal mine. Ah, the infirmary. Four wood and a steam core. I think the infirmary is probably our best option or we could treat these two i've never treated before there's so many things happening in this game which i haven't done before i've never used a sawmill i've never upgraded a beacon and had two expeditions at once and right now i think we're going to build an infirmary which means we're not building the shelters so let's just think about this. If I build the infirmary and cure four, but then four more get sick because I didn't build the shelters. But for the cost of an infirmary, I can only build one house. Can I get some more wood? Yes, I can. Shelters are better. Ah, yeah, but it's this engineer. I don't want this engineer to die. And we have a card. Oh, so many choices. I do have all of that hope. And I'm not really doing anything with it. <laughs> oh, you mean if somebody dies, I just lose some hope and it's like, yeah, sure, fine. Yeah, that's true. That is true. So we're all right for the moment. Now the platform is yellow, but it's on the generator tile. So one more coal. The heat, the generator tile. And the engineer is going to go to the platform. But instead of using the platform, I'm going to use Paul Unclestone's ability to reuse a building. And we're going to reuse the sawmill to chop down that. 
to get three more wood. Because that has now opened up a whole host of future options. Like we can now build the coal depot, the cow, the cowl, the, the coal outpost depot building. What happens if you build two depots? <laughs> do they both arrive at the same time? I guess they do. Um, Did I shuffle a social dispute card in? I'm just going to check my social dispute cards. Yes, I did. There is a social dispute card in there. They both arrive at the same time. Yeah, they've got to, because there's only one marker to track it. Um, so, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We've got eight. If I can get two more, I can make everybody happy. I can build the infirmary. I can build a house and I can build the coal depot outpost. It's got to be done. It has to be done. Let's get another two wood. There is two wood right here, just, just waiting to be taken. It's cold. It's very cold out here. So somebody's going to get sick. Um, we can't use the kids. They've stopped being naughty, though. But we still can't use them because we haven't got child labour. Um, oh, we also talked about fixing the generator. So we, we should do that. Uh, I think it's five. One, two, three, four, five. There you go. Yeah, scouts and generator steam core. Yeah. Steam core? You don't need to use a steam core for it, do you? We've got a core, yeah, but why do you need a core? You don't need a core to fix the generator. What am I missing? Oh, you mean upgrade the generator? Yeah, I mean, we could upgrade the generator. We've not done that. Oh, clears all, adds peace. Right, okay, yeah, but that's an upgrade action. And we've already used the, we've already used the workshop this round. What did we use the workshop for? I can't remember. We upgraded some stuff. We brought that down by one and we upgraded some stuff. Sean thinks it's a normal action. Let me have a look. I didn't think it was. I thought it was part of the um, uh, the generator upgrade. Uh, the, the upgrade action of the workshop. Because it's called an upgrade. Um... Oh no, you're right. Say, I've never done this before. The first time you spend a steam core when performing the generator building action, place the generator upgrade component in the top. This will make it more likely to retain coal cubes. But it... Right, okay, well, we'll do it. We'll absolutely do it. There you go, things that have never happened before. We've spent a steam core to remove all of them. And while doing that, I've got to find the piece. Thank you for that. Right, generator generator has been upgraded. There you go. Awesome. Yes. Yeah, it's just not something I've ever done before. And I didn't I didn't go into that many details in the video. So it's not an upgrade action. It's the first time you perform the generator building action. If you spend a steam core. Sorry, when you use the generator building action, you clear five or you can spend a steam core to remove all of them. And the first time you use a steam core, the generator gets upgraded. Right. Is that right? What you're saying about put the tech back? Yeah, I think I think we're good. I think we're all right. I'm not sure what the other comments are. Yes, I, I want to send out two, two things. So we'll we'll do that now. We're going to send one on the path to Winter Home because that's what we're trying to do. And do we want to send the other outpost out? I'm not sure we do. I'm 
I mean, I'd love to find the food outpost or the wood outpost, but we're not in a position to be able to build it yet, but we might be soon. I, hmm, do we want more people? We probably don't want more people. I think we've got enough people. Yeah, I think, I think we've got enough people right now. We probably need to build more hunter's huts because that's going to start giving us regular extra food coming in. Oh, let's go, let's go here. Okay, so we've got two actions left. We talked about building, so we're definitely going to build, but before we build, what's this little fella going to do? I think this little fella is going to go off into the cold and he's going to get these two wood. Now, it is cold, it's here. So do we spend one, two, three coal to keep him happy, but that also stops these three from getting sick as well. I think we do. I am I am concerned by the lack of coal that I'm going to have next round. Oh yeah, coal thumpers and gathering posts. We've we've not got. I mean, I painted the I, I painted the two coal thumpers on request of Christina, uh, and I finished them last night. So I've painted the coal thumpers. But the whole coal thumper gathering post. Yeah, I, I think we're going to be a bit short of coal next round. So three, three coal is going in. That makes. No, that doesn't actually help this whatsoever. Because this is there. No, one, two, three. That one gets sick. And we get two wood. Oh, we were going to use the thing to do the thing. I don't have an engineer left to use the infirmary. Oh. Gah. Right, so we're building. So I was going to build an infirmary, but actually we can't use an infirmary this round. So I think it's going to be two houses. I've painted four of the houses, so we can't build more than four of them. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And two, it's perfect. It's as if we'd planned it. Two houses, uh, which are going to go, one's going to go there, uh, and one's going to go there. Uh, and the outpost depot, the coal outpost depot, goes there. Right, so more figures. So two houses. Now what do the outpost depots look like? So the outpost depots are really cool figures, um, but I thought I, I, I don't need these anytime soon, so I won't paint them yet. Um, and I haven't painted them, but these are going to be look really good painted because there's loads of detail on these. Yeah, so outpost depot, two more houses, and let's just have a look at the board again. See what it looks like. There you go. Yeah, so once these houses, as I mentioned, these houses have not had the snow effect on yet. But once they've got the snow effect on, they're going to look pretty cool. And over here, nothing's happening over here. It's all happening over here. Yeah, this is where it is. Yeah, these... Um, these crystal clear close-ups, this is due to a, um, a pan tilt zoom camera that I've got in the ceiling and I bought that with patron funds. So yeah, a big thank you to all of my patron supporters because uh, your financial support goes towards, well, paying for Jaffa Cakes, but also buying some extra equipment, new microphones, new lights and new cameras to be able to provide all of this stuff. Um, and as I mentioned at the start, this is not a sponsored video. So if you do like the content that I create and you want to support me, you can. Uh, Patreon.com forward slash gaming rules. And I do do a lot of behind the scenes playthroughs as well. So you will get access um, to some extra videos if you do support me on Patreon. 
including one of me playing this on Tabletop Simulator a few weeks ago. Um, Hop doesn't see those other playthroughs. Well, um, give me a shout afterwards, because you are a patron supporter. I think you're a patron supporter. Um, so we can definitely get you access to those uh, those other playthroughs. Just, uh, just give me a shout afterwards on Slack. Slack is the best place. Thank you very much, Mark, for the link. Right, where are we up to? We've done all of our actions. Unfortunately, we have run out of actions. We have run out of things to do. So that is it. Right, next. The Dusk Phase. We are resolving one of these Dusk cards. I'm quite, I'm quite confident with these cards. Except the inevitable will be bad. It's not the inevitable. It's child education. Young medics, I was hoping this card would come out. Thanks to their specialised education, the children can help us with the sick. So, because we enacted child shelter, the kids have been learning how to do medicine. If the child shelter is built, it is. For each child meeple, I'm going to kiss this card. Mwah. For each child meeple, we have three child meeples. Cure one. Oh, so good. <laughs> one, two, three. Almost exactly what we needed. That is amazing. And that card is going to come back in and around every time. Yeah, that's that's just a card that gets discarded and it, and it will come back and we're all good. Right, okay, next. Mm. Children learning medicine. That's what we needed. Right, okay, next. Um, hunger phase. Okay, so the 18 hungry workers from yesterday. Don't worry, I've got you covered. Right, now, what about the kids? What about the 10 kids that need feeding today? Well, I've got three of them covered. I've got seven hungry children, but that's fine. We just turn behind. Um, right, night phase. Okay, so we're doing okay, I think. We're, we're going to have some sick people, but we've, we've actually built three houses. There's more than I've ever built before. Yeah, I am enjoying this game so much better on this difficulty level. And I don't care. If you're watching this video and thinking, oh, Paul's playing on easy, it's not a proper game. It is a proper game. Everybody's got different... Uh, skill levels and levels that they're comfortable with um, and this level of difficulty is a lot more suited to me than the one that's included in the game now in a year or two's time if i get a lot better at the game sure i can up the difficulty but i was starting to find that the the normal difficulty i was starting to not enjoy it um because no matter how hard i tried I, it just all fell apart uh, i mean this might all still fall apart but i feel I, i'm just enjoying this a lot more so, yeah. Right. Uh, these are not... No, so the there's, there's fan-made Easy Society cards on Board Game Geek. You can get them now. But Glass Cannon Unplugged are releasing some official ones, which are different. Um, and uh, as I mentioned, if you have a look on screen, this is, the, this is the Society card. This is the official Explorer Difficulty Society card for Society 5. Um, which is quite different from the one from the fan one on BGG. Right. So, um, have we got the right number of workers? We've got one, two, three, four, five. There should be seven. Two of them are out there. Three of those, three of those. Yes. Right. So the kids, kids can sleep in the child shelter. That's fine. Have we only heated it to here? Did we not need to heat it anywhere beyond there? Wow, that's a surprise. But sure, okay. Um, so the homes are all heated. The houses are all heated. We have three houses. That's six. Six, six of these people can sleep in, in the warm. Now then. Uh, problem is we've got a gravely ill worker and a gravely ill engineer. I th yeah, I think somebody's going to die. I think a worker is going to die. So we're going to we're going to get the engineers. The engineers are going to have somewhere warm to sleep. So that's those three and those three. So it's two two workers. Yeah. OK, that's it. Round five.
that goes to there. We have developed hunting tactics. And now we're going to develop an extra technology, and it's going to be... Heating lamps is now no use, I think. Medical education. So one, two, three, four, five. There we go. Don't forget to keep the shelter in, uh, keep the shelter heated. Oh, sorry, the child shelter is orange. I need to spend one more coal. Thank you. One more coal to heat the child shelter. Yep. Yeah. Right. Uh, so we've done that. We've done that. We've done that. We've done that. We've got that. What's yeah, we've got hunting tactics now, so it's now the morning phase. Off we go. Illegal distillery. <laughs> Some of our citizens consume alcohol from an unknown source. Little. Such unmoderated drinking can cause trouble in our society. Right, option one. Let them have their moonshine. They're adults after all. Add card D32 to the dusk deck. Or... Start a public campaign about the dangerous consequences of alcohol. This will stop this illegal practice. If we do that, we, we lose a worker for this turn. The third option is send guards to find the distillery and destroy it. We can only do that if we have active justice and we don't lose the justice, but we do gain a discontent. So our options are I, I'm not going to do option one because that's probably going to be a bad card added into the deck. The options are we use one worker today to go around telling everybody how bad things are. Which means we lose a worker for today, which might not be that bad because we have lots of workers. Or we send guards to the distillery and destroy it. If we do that we gain a discontent. Now, our discontent is okay. But, saying that, if I can avoid gaining it, the chat's telling me option three. Niels has said, yeah, use the alcohol to keep them warm. Exactly right. Yeah. I'm tempted by option two. I think I can afford to lose a worker this turn. So I'm going to go with option two. We're going to use a have a spent a spent worker there. Okay, morning phase done. Generator phase. So do we want to fuel the generator anymore to stop getting sick people? George says no, because it's not worth it. The problem is we're going to have yeah. So one sick kid, one sick worker, one sick engineer from that. Then we are dropping three coal in, but thankfully our generator has been upgraded. Did any get caught in the upgrade in the top? No. But only one came out. That means there's loads of cubes inside. So that's gone on there. Right. Heat marker gets reset. Weather phase. It's a two. Ah, oh, that's a shame. So, oh, this moves two. That's bad. This moves one. Hunter's huts provide us with four food. Plus another two. Six, six food a turn. Wow. Scouts move two. And the storm moves one. Right, that's the weather phase done. Preparation phase, health advisor, I'm going to exhaust care, and I'm going to cure two engineers. And then we resolve sickness markers, and unfortunately, a worker has died. So that flips over, that moves back one, that moves back one, and I'm going to discard um, this card from hand, which is minus one hope. And we're going to lose... We're just going to inactivate justice. There you go. That's not too bad. Oh, and we gain a death. And we have a corpse. Yeah, it's not too bad at all. Right, action phase. Check the number of people. Is it correct? Yes, it is correct. Seven workers, two of them here, three of them, three of them. Right, off, off we go. Off we go. There are some things that we need to be doing every round, which is gaining food from the hunter's huts. Um, 
we're not using this gathering post anymore, so that's no use. We're not actually using the factory anymore because we've got our two automatons, and I quite like using our two automatons. Uh, oh, we forgot to move the, the depot, so the depot moves two. Yeah, move the stockpile number marker. A number of spaces equal to the expedition progress shown on the revealed weather card. Yeah. Okay, oh, that's in the wrong place. Beneath the outpost card. There, that's where it goes. Right, I see. That makes more sense. Did I build a hothouse? I did not build a hothouse because actually I'm thinking our hunter's huts are doing us really good. They're generating us effectively eight food every round. Five from using it, two from their abilities, and one because of the hunting tactics. So we're generating 16 food around. 16 food around is times three is 48. Total number of citizens is 55. So we're seven food short. Really depends what that is. If that is a food depot, uh, that's great. That's our food situation sorted. But I'm tempted to skip the food depot and just get uh, a, a wood depot, uh, a wood outpost. Right, this is the round where we have a resource issue. We we absolutely have a resource issue this round. I, I am aware of that. These things are known. So let's start the, 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 the thing. One coal. Red buildings are still heated. Wow. Uh, worker. Sawmill. Bzzzed. Three wood. Not enough. Right. Um, I want to build a medical post this term. I want to start curing. Is what I want to be doing. Um, now we only have three houses. I'd like a fourth. But I also want a medical post. And the reality is we only have three wood this round. And I don't think we're going to be able to get any more wood this round unless we go exploring. We're going to, we're going to go exploring anyway. So, ah. One coal to move that to there. That means the generator tile is now heated. So I send this worker here to get these two coal. I spend one of them to send the automaton. It's, it's gotta be here, hasn't it? Yeah. I'm, I'm looking at the other sawmill. But I kind of want this space cleared and ready for the other outpost. So automaton is gonna explore there. I've spent the coal and the tile is interesting. Interesting. Two trees and a steam core. Very interesting. Okay. Okay. So Hmm. It's not looking good for a second sawmill this turn, I'm afraid. It is looking good for a medical post, hunter's hut, and dismantle the gathering post. So, we're going to build. First build action is to dismantle the gathering post. Second build action is going to be to build... The medical post there. Now, my medical posts, I was very happy with these. I think the painting on these came out really nice. So, is it going to focus? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There you go. So, yeah, medical posts. Yeah, these came out really nice. There's two different colours of, uh, of brown on the edge there. Not that you can see, but... They came out really nice. So, medical post has been built there. For some reason the bottom's not flat. Oh. 
That'll lead sanding down. And the Hunter's Hut is going... I mean, the Hunter's Hut, I'm going to upgrade it, and it's going to go red. I think I'm going to put it there for now. Let's get another Hunter's Hut. There you go. Right. Upgraded sawmill. Uh, the sawmill's upgraded. Doesn't let you do it twice. I'd, ha I'd have to put the sawmill here. And then upgrade it. Yeah, I mean, I, I could. I think I've decided that I'm just going to struggle this round with that. And then do the, do the other sawmill next round. I think. Because I really wanted that medical post in play. So that's it. I've built, deconstructed, I've built that, I've built that. Okay, my engineer is going to be using the medical post, which is on the generator tile, uh, which means it's heated. And I haven't used a citizen this round. So I am going to use Raphael Curé. Whenever I use a medical post, I can activate care and then perform the building's cure effect. So we activate care and then we cure three, which is one, two, uh, three. No, let's cure one of the kids. There you go. So one, two, three. Fine. In fact, no, I don't need to cure the kids because the kids have got somewhere warm to sleep. There you go. The sickness is, is, is under control. For the first time ever, the sickness is under control. We have two workers, which I think need to go out and get food. So they go on there and I get 10 food. So the food situation is under control. The hope situation is under control. The discontent situation is under control. We have scouts out on expeditions. Crossy de fingers. What's not, what's not under control? What's the one thing that I've not got? Wood. I don't have enough resources coming in. That's the biggest problem right now. We have two engineers left. We have the workshop. We've not used the workshop at all. Um, we've also not built a coal thumper or anything like that, but I'm okay for the moment. Next round is the round where I need to, I will sort out the wood situation. I'll definitely sort out the wood situation next round. Uh, da, 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 da. It's not very hot, is it? In fact, we're going to need to spend another coal at least to heat the, the, the child shelter. Yeah. We c um, have we still got an automaton left? We still have an automaton left. Right, okay. So that automaton, I can spend the coal to use the automaton to go out and gather the three coal from there. Yeah, doesn't get cold. We have two engineers left. We could bring in another law. Let's have a look at the law situation. I've never had spare people. <laughs> So makeshift shelters means we could use this ruins if heated, but it won't be heated. Oh yeah, coal's, coal's a big problem. Care house. Don't think we need the care house. Crowded quarters. Each of your heated shelters provides one extra sleeping slot. Now, this is going to help us. This is actually going to help us. Okay, so I, I'm tempted we bring crowded quarters into play. Heated meals, not sure about that. Food additives, not sure about that. We've got the New Order and New Faith as well. I don't think we need either of those two at the moment. Although, yeah, is New Order going to help us? Mm, possibly not. We exhaust one discontent of each type when it comes in so we're not going to get the benefit of that or that fighting arena not really oh hang on a minute we don't have a worker apologies 
we've got a spent worker token over there. So apologies, I should have put that on there, which means actually I only have one worker left. I only got one engineer left. Yeah, thank you very much, George. Well spotted. I just I just noticed that. So we only have one action left, which is fine. Which is fine. Yeah, crowded quarters. I think we're going to send the engineer to go to the platform and we're going to introduce crowded quarters. Now, this is a bad law, but it's actually going to help us. So L05, uh, we're going to, one of these two cards come into play uh, and we, we increase apathy. Now, what that means is we take one of these out of the bag and then we look for any apathy. And if there is some, we activate it. One of the most confusing rules in the game, but that's how it is. Where's those two cards? There. Okay, and because we've brought into play crowded quarters, makeshift shelters uh, is removed. We cannot have makeshift shelters. Right, but each of our houses now can store three people. And in fact, the child shelter can store five as well. If they're heated, which they are. Look at this. Wow, the generator is really not on. So yeah, resources are our biggest problem right now. And that's that's our main objective now is to sort that out. Everything else is under control. So we've performed actions. We have. Dusk phase. Now, these have been shuffled. So I'm going to draw this. We don't have any active dusk cards anywhere, do we? No. Overcrowded. Typical. Oh, that's anger. Is that anger? Sorry, anger. I called it apathy. It's anger. People have got angry because of the, uh, because of the thing. Thank you very much, George. That's anger. And our oh, apathy is the three dots. That's it. Anyway, so because we introduced the law of uh, crowded quarters straight away, everyone wants a speck of privacy and comfort. The crowded quarters have robbed our people of this. If they have to endure both the cold and the lack of this essential comfort, they will protest. Place this card on the crowded quarters law card. Ignore the crowded quarters law card while this card is covering it. Brilliant. So they got angry because we did it, and now they're complaining about it. Oh, well, something had to go wrong. Um, at the end of the night phase, if there are any citizen meeples without a warm place to sleep, which there will be, plus one discontent, and then the card goes. Right, okay, so not a good round for that, but hopefully we'll be fine later. Hunger. Seven hungry kids from the day before. Fed. Now... There are 11 hungry engineers. Nine of them are fed. Two hungry engineers from the... From, right, okay. Done. Night phase. Uh, is that everything? And these. So that comes back. That comes back. That token goes. I think that's everything. Right, so... Who's got somewhere to sleep? Is the child shelter heated? No, it's not. So let's heat it. Right, that's the kids sorted. Now we have six homes and we have one, two, three, four, five workers and three engineers. So two people uh, have not got anywhere warm to sleep. So that's gonna be the two workers. And because there were citizen meeples without a warm place to sleep, people get unhappy. Did I shuffle the dust cards? I did shuffle them. I think I shuffled them. Apologies if I didn't shuffle them, but it's fine. It's fine. That's what's come out. Yeah, maybe I didn't shuffle them. <laughs> That's apathy. I'm so used to shuffling them all the time. The one round that I didn't shuffle them. Never mind. There was a one in four chance it would have come out anyway. Right. Uh, we're done. Round six, five. Five. I thought that was round five. Wow. Okay. 
so we move. Oh no, it is round six. So why is there only four cards in here? Oh, okay. We've only got four weather cards in the deck. How many weather cards should there be? Yeah, I'm now concerned I've done something wrong. What have I done wrong? There's 13 weather cards. There's four of them in there, and there's nine of them in here. If this is round six, which I think it is, then there should be five cards in the weather display. Maybe I didn't draw a weather card. Uh oh. Uh, where did the cold marker start? Cold marker started here. So it was one, 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 and two. No card for round one. That's right. No card for round one. Thank you, Matt. I'm, I'm, I'm getting to that point of the day where my brain is not working properly. So no card in round one. And we're about to start round six. That was it. I was getting confused because I thought six. Surely there should be five. There will be five in a minute. We're all good. We're all good. Panic over. Morning card. Comfort the sick. There's been talk among our people. They want better conditions for those in need. What? They're always complaining. It's probably what helped us survive in the first place. We took care of the weak and the sick. That's what I'm doing. I've just built you a medical post. Right. First option. I can promise that I will take care of it. If we do that, I gain one care. And we add card D7 to the Dusk deck. And this card goes in the event display. And then in the action phase, I can perform this action. I take one or more wood and or coal from the supply and put it on this card. Oh, this is, I used this in the uh, in the video for an example. Or we can ignore this demand and gain a discontent. Suddenly the discontent is starting to get a little out of control. The problem is, if we say we're going to take care of it, then there is an action on here that we have to spend wood and coal to do. So actually, I'm going to ignore it. I'm going to say, screw you, we have resource issues, we cannot afford the resources for this. So we're going to ignore the demand and we gain one discontent. Now, I can either activate one of those or draw another one. I'm actually going to activate apathy. Right, that's the morning phase done. Generator phase. Yeah, so oh, it's all starting to spiral a bit now because of this. So we're not going to fuel the generator anymore, which means we get... Oh, an engineer's going to die. No, he's not. Right, we get two sick engineers, we get one sick worker, and we get two sick kids. So we have six sick citizens of each type. One of the engineers is gravely ill. Then we're dropping three cubes in. Okay, three have gone in. Two have come out. And we reset the heat marker. Drop coal in, place cubes in, you check for drying. Right, okay. Yep, yeah, we're all good. Right, weather phase. Thank you for pointing out my obvious mistakes. That goes up by one. That goes up by one. That goes up by one. Finally, that's moved up. Uh, hunter's huts. I get five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven food. Uh, advance three spaces. So one, and you can't skip it. You have to do it. So. And the storm marker doesn't move. Right, okay, so we've reached an outpost depot. Source of wood. This place used to be a woodcutter's settlement. The trees are here, but the people are not. We can either uh, take the wood and we're off, gain three wood, or prepare the site. We're going to prepare the site. So that goes here. We can have a wood outpost depot. And that comes home. Awesome. 
awesome. Right. It's what we wanted. Um, and this moves three. So what? So that re that's reached the end, which means um, six coal arrives. Is that right? That's amazing. That seems to have happened quick. <laughs> six coal has just turned up. Move the stockpile marker a number of spaces according to the shown three. Each time the stockpile marker moves onto the sp that space, any remaining movement is lost. Uh, gain the food or resources shown on each outpost depot and place the stockpile marker back to zero. Yeah, six coal has just arrived. That's great, that card. I mean, that's the way outposts work in the computer game. You build these outposts and they regularly ship you resources. So, um, they, yeah, they don't have it in the base game. But what they've done with this particular scenario is that they've removed the deposits from the wall and kind of replaced it with the outposts. Right. That's exciting. What's next? That's the weather phase done. Preparation phase. Choose advisor. Health advisor. I am going to exhaust care to cure two engineers. And then one of the workers gets gravely ill and one of the children gets gravely ill. We're just about managing this situation here. Action phase. Right. Do we have the right number of meeples? I think we do. Seven, three, three. One's there. Yes, we do. Right. Action phase. We don't have any um, spent citizen tokens this time. So this is the round that we need to sort out the resources. And the way that we're going to do that is we're going to build another sawmill. So the first thing is I am using two coal to fuel the generator to there. I am then sending a worker to the sawmill to chop down this tree to get three wood. Right, that's absolutely the first thing I can do. Now, we are going to build another sawmill. That's going to cost two wood. It's going to go there. It's then going to get upgraded and we're then going to use that sawmill to chop down another tree and get another three wood. And then next round, I'm going to chop down another tree and I'm going to build the wood outpost depot. Yeah, and then that's it. Do we have a law that we can use to introduce discontent? We, we do. Um, we've got the fighting hut, the fighting arena, which we can introduce because I've painted it. So I'm allowed to introduce this straight away. Discontent goes down and we can build the fighting arena and we can use it if we want to. If we want to. Thankfully, the crowded quarters is back in effect now. And that's not gonna be affected by overcrowding so right now we have homes for all of our people so nobody's going to get sick tonight this is the problem people are getting sick because it's just so cold <sighs> right we are going to have to do some inefficient build actions but i don't think we have any other choice so a worker is going to build. We've got three construct sub actions. I'm using one of them to build a sawmill. There. Now, I say I'm not using the other two. Is there anything we can dismantle? I don't think you can get in, you can't dismantle the ruins. Um, do we want to dismantle anything else? Skycroft says you can remove the ruins. Oh, you just can't build them. That's it. So we can remove the ruins. That's them gone. Um, we've got a third construct sub-action. I could dismantle the factory, but I don't want to. I don't think I need to. No, so that's fine. That's absolutely fine. My next action is the engineer is going to use the workshop, which is red, so it's heated. The first workshop option is to spend the wood and upgrade the sawmill the second one is to advance that technology to there 
then the worker's going to use the sawmill. Chop down that tree, get three wood. There you go. I told you I'd be okay. We now have six wood per turn coming in for the next three turns. That's 18 wood in total. Plus we will have a wood deposit, a wood outpost, which is going to bring us four. Is that all? It's not very much. Four wood every couple of turns. I think that's all right. Now, other things to do. Charcoal kiln. I not quite yet. I think I think the coal. I mean, yeah, no, you're right, because we're we're getting what we're getting six coal every other turn. That's not enough. We need how much coal do you need a turn? Um do you need like ten coal a turn? I think you probably do. So we're looking at uh char so so the ways of getting coal, there's three ways, four ways of getting Coal. One of them is the coal depot, the coal outpost depot, which we've got. The other one is the coal mine, which we can't have in this game because we have no coal deposits. The other way is the charcoal kiln, which converts wood into coal. But that means we need to have lots of wood. And I'm, although we've got a good supply of wood coming in, I don't think we've got quite enough. And then the other option is the coal thumper. Now, I've never built a coal thumper in any of these games, but that is an option. And as I mentioned, I've painted both of them. But the coal thumper produces coal which lands on the ground and then you use a gathering post to gather it. Now we got rid of the gathering post. Why did we get rid of the gathering post? I'm not sure why we got rid of the gathering post. Because <laughs> we're probably going to need it again. Um, but I'm, I'm thinking coal thumper might be our best bet. Now a coal thumper is a... Oh, it's a large building. Well, that's fine. Now, I, I need to read what the coal thumper does, because as I say, I've never used it. Um, coal thumpers, coal thumpers. Wrong book. That's the scenario book. You need the rule book, Paul. Right, coal thumper. Place up to three coal from the bank on each of three different adjacent spaces. So nine in total. Now that works really well with this carrier sledge. So I could put a coal thumper like here and I'd put it there, there and there. So yeah. And then we just need to go gathering it. So I think a coal thumper might be... Oh, now if you... in. If you upgrade it, it does four times three. Yeah, one coal thumper with the carrier sledge could be our main source of coal for this game. And I'm I'm thinking there. I'm thinking a coal thumper there, because we can put some coal there that can be collected relatively easily. Uh, and then some coal here as well. Hmm. Gosh. Now, I'm just going to look at what this outpost depot is. It's a source of food. Yeah, we knew that. So, and we don't really want that, I don't think. How would I gather them without getting cold? I'd use the automatons to go gathering them, I think. Um, so I'm thinking of building another one. And we just use the automatons every turn to go out and gather, um, gather coal. It's a net increase of one coal each time but it might be enough might be enough um probably want to use the medical post but the medical post is on the generator tile so yeah i'm going to spend another coal so i have now heated the generator tile i then send an engineer to there now do i want to use a citizen card yes i do i'm going to send a uh, devetta oh hang on a minute Hmm, hang on. I've got a child that could use the medical post. 
but that's only cure two. Yeah, I was talking about the infirmary, wasn't I? Yeah, no, OK, so we're going to send an engineer to the medical post and we're going to use this card. So I perform the building's cure effect and I treat one. So one of the chi one, the children's getting treated. Um, and then I'm going to cure three. So that's going to be two workers uh, and the child. Right. So that's got us back there. Four actions for nine coal. Uh, what you mean? Ah, yeah, but you can use the... Yeah, so coal thumper, three automatons. Yeah, it isn't efficient, is it? But if I've got the automatons spare, effectively... Speaking of automatons, we probably need to go and do a bit more exploring. Because you never know what we're going to find out there in the wild. And we've got this steam core here to pick up. Uh, I am I, I'm gonna have to spend another coal to heat orange. So orange is heated as well, which is the shot the child shelter. So that's that's fine. Um, we don't need to build another house because we're all right. I don't think I've ever had a game before where I've had enough shelters for all of the people. So that's a first as well. Definitely going to send a scout out as well. I don't know where I'm going to send them to. I don't know whether I want any extra people. <laughs> because at the moment, I've got more people than actions, I think. Although we could start building more medical posts. I mean, I've got the three wood. Do I, do I spend that three wood now? Because I'm going to get another six next turn. And build another medical post. And that really will keep the sickness under control. That will save me having to spend all of this coal. It will. Well, this scout is going out. I don't think I want to do that because I think I've got the two outposts that I want. Um, I, do we want extra people? I'm not sure we do want extra people. But we could skip that and go on to the next one. And we're going to arrive at Winterhome. And I, I have not got this far before, so I don't know what's here. Um, but I know that you're preparing for a big storm and you need to stockpile resources. I, I know that. So I think I'm going to play it safe and I think I'm going to go... Oh, are the C cards better than the Bs? I think the C's are better than the B's. So I think I'm going to go there. So that's that sent out. And yeah, George approves with the medical post building. So I think we're going to do that. So we're going to build again. And we're going to spend, we got three wood. So we're going to spend two of it to build another medical post. Let's get another medical post. Which goes on there. And what am I going to do with the extra one? How are we doing for food? Oh, we need to start at the bottom. Thank you. Um, yes, you need to start at the bottom because that one's further away. Um, we've got the one wood. Do, do we build? So now I'm thinking ahead. There is the charcoal kiln which we wouldn't be able to use this turn. But as I say, I think at the moment, I'm unsure about the charcoal kiln just because I don't think I've got the wood situation under control. However, however, we have three houses built and we have crowded quarters. What else do we need wood for? We're going to build another depot, but I think you're right. I think, yeah, George, you're saying charcoal kiln because here was me thinking... I don't have enough wood coming in, but actually, I think I now do have enough wood coming in because I don't need to build any more shelters. Now, there is other stuff that we can build, and I'm not saying we won't need to build another shelter, so let's build the charcoal kiln. Now, this is another figure that I've not painted. I don't even know what this one looks like. 
Is it that one? No, that's a field kitchen. Let's have a look in here. What does a charcoal kiln look like? Not one of those. Uh, there, it must be that. There's three of them. Yes. Charcoal kiln. Orange building, so it's going here. Yeah, it's a nice building. Not painted yet, so. Speaking of painted buildings, let's have a look at the board. Because the board is really starting to take shape now. Look at that. Loads of buildings. And somebody posted on a Facebook group uh, last week and said, what games have a good table presence? And I was like, uh, Frostpunk, you know, you put this on a table at a convention, as I have done, and, and people look at it because it just looks fantastic, especially with the miniatures painted. My aim is by GridCon, uh, which is happening in November, uh, I will have painted all of the miniatures for this game. That's, that's my plan. Whether I will have painted the generator or not, I don't know. And I also want to um, paint the trees, because the trees look good. Six trees is 18 wood. Yes, and there might be some more trees. So, use the worker to gather three coal. He'll get sick, then cure. Yeah, um, I mean, we, we, have a, we, we have the two automatons as well. I, I, I want to use the two automatons. So we're going to spend two coal. One of them is going to explore here. It's three trees and three food. Could it have been any better? And the other automaton is going to explore here. It's three food and a steam core. Mm. Steam core. Normally they get excited about steam cores, but actually, at this point, I've not used the hunter's huts. So I probably want to use the medical post. And it's going to be one, two, three. So that's the curing done. Skycroft says use this to get the other three coal. We do have three coal sat up there not doing anything. Um, would get cold. Which is fine. It's either that or... I need to gather this because if I, I've got to gather this steam core this turn so that next turn I can build the depot there. Otherwise, the steam core is wasted. So I think we're going to do that. Now, that's all of our actions done. Let's just check that I've done that right. Yeah, that, that one got sick because it's, it's it's miles away. Even if I'd have heated up to there, it would have still got sick. Yeah, did I not move it? I meant I meant to move it. Yeah, he gets sick. Um, yeah, because the generator doesn't doesn't reach the fight the, the 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 far edge. Okay, we're done. Action phase is over. Uh, dusk phase. I'm gonna shuffle them just in case I didn't. Yeah, we are, we are, we do have so many steam cores because we found one there, we found one there, we found one there, we found one here, we found one over here, and that's just the look of the draw with the tiles that come out. It is the inevitable. This is not good. Things are about to go wrong. Every sickness marker on its school side flips to the syringe side. A worker has just died and an engineer has just died. So, engineer dead, worker dead, which means that goes to there, that goes to there, and then for each corpse you have, you gain one sick citizen. We have three corpses, so one, two, three. Right, we've got a dead engineer and a dead worker. Um, I'm going to use that card for the worker. Yeah. So we lose a hope, and I'm going to lose that. 
and for the engineer uh, I, I this is a card that's good for reducing sickness but we've got two medical posts now so I think I'm just going to lose that card for the engineer which means we lose another hope and I'm going to inactivate the motivation. Right. So we're OK. We braved through it. It was inevitable. And we just need to now keep the sickness under control, which I think we can because we have the two medical posts and we have the health advisor. We only have one citizen card left. Right. That was the dusk phase. Now it's the hunger phase. So the two people from the day before are fed and now we need to feed, oh, it's workers. I didn't realize it was workers. We've got to feed 33 workers. We've only got 11 food, 22 hungry people. It's fine. We're just going to have to really use these hunter sorts this turn. Uh, night phase. So all of these come home and hopefully there's somewhere warm for them to sleep unless we have miscounted completely. So the houses are red, the child shelter's orange, we've got space for the kids, we've got space for nine people, we're all okay. Nobody has to sleep outside. Right, next round. Uh, we are now in round seven. This is as far as I've ever got before, but again, I am playing on an easier difficulty level. My social dispute card, I can't quite remember what it was. Let's have a look. It was doubt. Uh, if you have more active hope than active discontent. Uh-oh. Okay, so we, we need to be activating hope <laughs> this turn before it gets any worse. Right. Uh, done the round marker. Don't resolve any triggers. Morning phase. A poet. One of our citizens is a poet. She writes ambiguous lines like these. Yeah, I could have removed a hope instead of deactivating one. Probably could have done. Um, uh, but there is no sleep when men must weep, who never yet have wept. So we, the food, the fraud, the knave, I can't read this, it's a bit small, uh, that endless vigil kept, and through each brain on hands of pain, another's terrors kept, crept. What should we do with her poetry? Burn it. One, such poetry demotivates people and should not be written. Order her to stop. Plus one discontent. Add D15 to the dusk deck. Don't want to do that. Two, place her and her family under house arrest. <laughs> and investigate her motivation for producing such rabble-rousing pieces. Only if you have active justice. We do. We get a spent worker token in the supply and we add D16 to the dusk deck. Or three, make a public announcement that her words don't matter. We shouldn't bother with such scribblings. Oh, I don't know what to do. I don't want to add the discontent and I don't want to do... Do we want a spent worker? Are we bothered about spent workers? I don't think we are. Seems a bit brutal to put her and her family under house arrest. She's just, she's just a kid writing poetry. But I think we're going to do it. That's what we're going to do. We're going to put her and her family under house arrest. We have active justice, yes. So I'm putting a spent worker token in the supply. So we lose a worker for this round and we add D16 to the dusk deck. Who knows what that is? I get, once you've played this game a hundred times, you'll know what all of these cards do. But so many times you're playing this game right now, and this is all a story that I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. Right, next. Generator phase. Okay, so do we want to spend that remaining three coal to fuel the generator? And the answer is no. So, we are gaining two sick kids, 
one sick engineer and two sick workers. Then the heat. Oh, then we put three coal in. And how many's fall down? Two's come out. Okay, that's, uh, that's probably safe for the moment. I think I think we'll be all right. Um, reset the heat marker. Weather phase. Okay, so that moves up one. That moves up one. Uh, hunters who produce uh, one. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven food. Expeditions move two. One, two. We've arrived at winter home. And the storm moves too, so the storm is about to hit. Uh, so, winter home. Big spoilers if you don't want to know the story. After a long and exhausting march, our scouts come back with news about winter home. They climbed up to the edge of the city. They stood there speechless, staring at the scene of utter destruction. Most of the buildings were destroyed and the generator had exploded. Our people found some resources that weren't entirely covered by snow in this city of the dead. The Recovered City Chronicle describes the shortage of food and citizens' increasing despair, squabbles, riots and descent into anarchy, fights for dwindling resources and the final moments of starvation. The last entry says, God forgive us, we're eating our dead, there's no hope. Okay, so if S03 has not been revealed, S03 has not been revealed, then place S07 face up in the scenario display. So S07 is all about preparing for the storm. Winter, winter home fell during the storm. We must prepare or share their fate. The severity of the storm might forbid us from returning outside. Stockpiles must be made. Um, and then we can return home if it is round seven or earlier we gain a steam core, three wood and four coal. Otherwise, two wood and four coal. It is round seven or earlier. So we gain yet another steam core. We definitely have steam cores coming out of our ears. Um, three wood. Oh, that's quite nice. And four coal. One steam core, three wood, four coal. So that card's gone. But now we have this. So there is an action on here that we can perform once per round with a worker or an engineer. Each time you perform this action, spend an amount of food and or coal. Place the corresponding stockpile, mar stockpile markers on this card to track food rations for every three spent and coal for every two spent. And basically we need to stockpile food and coal before something. I guess before the storm hits. I'm going to put it there just for now. Yeah, what do we do with all these steam cores? Hot houses or infirmary? Yeah, they need wood, but we're getting wood. We're going to have loads of wood this turn. Okay. So that's the weather phase done. Yeah, that is the weather phase done. Right. Preparation phase. Choose the advisor. Uh, we don't have any care. Da, that means all of these get gravely ill. So we have now one gravely ill citizen of each type. Right, the action phase. We lose a worker. Remember this time. We have the right number of meeples. We can use a child to use the medical post if we need to. But I don't know whether we do need to. Do we need to be uh, enacting a law. Because we could bring into play new faith. And if we do, we can activate a care and a motivation. And we've got to fix that sick kid. Otherwise, yeah, or, well, we've got to fix all of them. I mean, I'm going to be curing three and curing three. Th these are going to go down. That's not going to be a problem. I'd like to treat, if I can, um, yeah, I mean, we could build the infirmary and that, 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 that also allows us to treat rather than cure, but yeah, because the inevitable is going to come out again. So we definitely need to be treating. We absolutely need to be treating. 
So yes, infirmary it is. Um, but let, let's do the basics. Let's spend two coal to make sure red buildings are heated. We will then use the sawmill there and we will use the sawmill there to generate six wood. One, two, three, four, five, six. Look at all this wood. Right. Then What are we going to use these automatons for? <laughs> I don't know what we're going to use these automatons for. Uh, we're definitely going to build. And we're going to spend two wood to build the wood outpost depot. Because we can. No, that's an evacuation center. Where's the wood outpost demo? Uh, Okay, so that's two. Um, four and a steam core. Did we build the charcoal kiln? We did build the charcoal kiln. We've not used it. Did I move the outpost marker? I didn't. The outpost marker should have moved two spaces. Thank you very much. Um, so the infirmary is being built. Now I've, I've painted the infirmary. The infirmary is is going to be a, a building which is very special to me because it is the, now let's put it here, it's the first one that I did the snow effect on. So let's just have a look at this and, and it's a big building as well. So yeah, so this is the infirmary and it focuses. There you go. Yeah, so this is the first one that I used the snow effect on. Um, and yeah, it's a, it's a really nice building. Um, there's lots of different copper pipes on the roof. Again, there's lots of different colours on here that you can't really see. Um, but they are there. They are there. Right, so infirmary. Boom. Oh, and the infirmary can be used twice. It's just so much better than medical post. Yeah. Right. So, the infirmary is orange. It's not heated yet. Two more coal means the orange building is heated. Do we have cores to upgrade the infirmary? We do. We have two steam cores. Let's just have a look at the upgraded infirmary. Wow. But I don't think we need to. Oh, I had one more build. Sorry, I did. I did. I had one more build. I built the depot for two. I built the infirmary for four. I've got four wood left. So we could build the, uh, we don't want to build another sawmill. No, we don't want to build another sawmill. That That's fine. Hot house is, is another option. George is saying another charcoal kiln. Yeah, because we are. And that's going to get us. We do need to. We do need the coal. We don't just need the coal to heat us every turn. We need the coal for this. Yeah, yeah. Listen to George. We're going to build another charcoal kiln. We're going to put it right next to the first one, because if they're together, they get a synergy bonus. Or is that a different game? Different game. Right. They're the three builds done. So suddenly, we don't have enough workers to do everything. <laughs> And we have all of these automatons and I'm not doing anything with them. Right, orange buildings are heated. So, engineer goes to the infirmary and I'm going to cure four. One, two, three, four. I just want to get these markers down below. Then we're going to play our final citizen card, which is Margaret Ozone, that allows me to use a child meeple on a medical post to cure two. One, two. Right. I've then got this engineer goes to the infirmary. I can cure four or I can treat two. But at this point, we're going to treat a kid and we're going to treat an engineer. It's still not going to help with this. 
we're going to have to spend this coal because I cannot be having them getting sick again. We've still got another medical post. Do we, are we bothered about the workshop? What, what are we researching at the moment? Medical education. When are we going to get that? Uh, yeah, I don't think we need that medical in there now because we got, we got the infirmary. Um, we need food, don't we? Oh, we absolutely need food. I just realised we need... 15 food, otherwise people are going to get really hungry. Yeah, so we've got to go there and we've got to go there. That's 10 food. That means we're five short. I'm sure it's too much. Five short means one discontent and somebody dies. It's fine, we got the automatons. We, we can do it. We, we can do it. We're okay. And do we want to send out another expedition? In fact, do we have to send out another expedition? Because otherwise we don't have enough rooms for people. Is that right? We've got, we should have 10 people. No, no, no. We're all right. We had, we had one. Yeah, remove snow and hope. Yeah, that's what that's what I'm thinking. I'm going to remove snow anyway. So we'll see what we get. We're going to finally clear the last space. And let's see what we get. I doubt it's food because we found lots of food here. It's not food. It's four coal. It's the most useless tile we've ever seen. But we got lucky with some of the other tiles. So that's there. Uh, right. We've got one engineer left. We could introduce a new law and we could introduce time to rest. And we could send that automaton to the hunter's hut to get the four food from the hunter's hut. So we could, we could do that. They're my thinkings. Um, the problem is the sickness, isn't it? Because what's going to happen next round is in the generator phase, we're going to gain sickness. And then in the preparation phase, we have no way of dealing with that sickness, which means an in, uh, a worker is going to die. We got the charcoal kiln. We could send an automaton to the charcoal kiln, or we could send an engineer to the charcoal kiln. That will get us four extra coal. That pretty much sorts out our situation. Uh, the child medical card won't hit because it's there. Or we could just gather the three coal. Gathering three coal... Uh, with the two coal that we've got is one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we're fine. So rather than use the charcoal kiln this turn, we can just send this automaton uh, to go gathering some coal. I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to spend one coal to gather three. I mean, we've got a medical post here that I've not used. What am I thinking about? Medical post. Yeah, it's the food, isn't it? So hunter's hook for four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, it's got to be that. Oh, it's a tight, tight resource management game, isn't it? So we didn't send anybody out on a second expedition, but that's that's what we've done. We could have done with one more worker this turn, but we sent them to arrest that family. Yeah, 
That's what did it. That's what's made the difference. Okay, so whew. can engineers use the hunter so Yep, absolutely right. Uh, if it if it doesn't matter, use something else. It doesn't matter. We've got, we've got them spare, so it's fine. It's all fine. Right, dusk phase. Let's give him another shuffle. Let's see what happens. Engineer sickness by one. Oh, because the engineer used there. Ah, I see what you mean. Yes. Um, and well, we tell you what. I am going to spend the four coal. I think I'm going to spend the four coal. So actually, we're okay. Yeah, I'm going to spend the four coal because I know the sickness, what effect that's going to have next round. Oh, so the, an engineer is going to die. No, a worker's going to die. And I don't think there's anything I can do about that. No, if I didn't do that. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to have to do. I'm I'm going to be getting quite a bit of coal next turn anyway, I think. Yeah, and uh, no, at the moment, engineer is on a syringe side. So what's going to happen is the engineer is going to be fine. It's the worker that's going to die. Could have cured a worker instead of an engineer. Uh, yeah, OK. Yeah, when I, when I did the whole thing here... We'll just swap that round by one and, and then we're OK. So nobody's going to die. OK, cool. Thank you. So the Dusk card is the Prophet Rises. The number of those who heed the words of the child prophet grows with each day. What did we do with her? I can't remember. I thought we locked her up. Um, her voice works against you. Something needs to be done. So plus one greed. What that means is we draw one of these out at random and unfortunately it is greed so we activate it uh oh lose two resources oh we let her preach yeah mm. okay so we've got two steam cores <laughs> do we really need these steam cores that's what skycroft is saying lose two steam cores i'm tempted but We've got loads of wood coming in. This round, we're going to get 10 wood. So it seems crazy to lose the steam cores. Why is Mark saying game over? <laughs> I'm, I'm going to lose the wood. It, it seems crazy to lose the steam cores, and I'm sure we might need them. Okay. We now have two options. It ends now. She and her mother will be ordered to stop. If they won't, they will be banished. We add one anger. And then we add D23 to the Dusk deck. Or the Prophet's wishes must be fulfilled. If not, we will all be doomed. Put this card in the event display. And in the Dusk phase, we either spend two food. If we cannot, we lose a hope. That's okay. Why is Mark saying game over? It's, it's not game over. Um, we're going to do that. I think we're going to say the prophet's wishes must be fulfilled. So we're going to we're going to basically spend two food in the dusk phase. Will we have two food in the dusk phase? Now that's not this dusk phase, is it? That's interesting because we're resolving this. Oh, maybe we do. There's a rules question. Raphael's in the chat. You'll know the answer to this. Do we resolve this immediately? George is saying from this point onwards. So, in other words, from, from the next dusk phase. Right, okay. Because we've already resolved the dusk effects. So from next round, we need to spend two food. Oh, is that permanently? That's permanently. And the social dispute card is going to cut. No, no, no. There's two cards. There's two cards in here. So we're not going to get it right. Yeah, so that sits there. And we constantly have to spend two food every round. 
That's what we're going to do. We do not want the anger and we do not want that. Okay. Still alive, Brendan. Yes, and this is the best game I've played of this. This is this is utterly fantastic. Um, and I'm glad I've used this new layout and the outposts and everything else. There's so much variability in this. Um, okay, so that is the dusk phase done. Hunger phase. Okay, unfortunately, we have 22 hungry people and we only have 21 food, which means discontent goes up. We are so close to dying. Um, I don't want another token. So we're going to activate anger. And then that goes back down to zero, all because I missed one food. Right, and then we need to feed the citizens for the current round, which is the children. And we have no food. Sorry, kids. So 10 kids get hungry. Next, the night phase. Okay, do we have homes for people? I think we do. I think we have enough homes for everybody. Um, even though we're one person up on yesterday. So the kids have got the child shelter. Uh, there should be nine, unless I've miscounted. It's 10 minus one, which is nine. See, I can do maths. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. In the houses with the crowded quarters check we're good and red and orange is heated so we're all good yeah new order i think it might be time for a bit of new order because what it does is it exhausts one discontent of each type which means we lose three discontent and i think it's about time for a little bit of paul the dictator i i think I think we need to go down that route. We've got to sort out this discontent situation. Okay. Next round. Round eight. No triggers. But the storm is going to hit. The second storm is going to hit. That's fine. Because that destroys the bunk houses, which we did not build. Um, the morning phase. Here we go. Let's see what card we've got next. The birth of gambling. There were plenty of things to take the burden off one's mind back in the old world. There's far fewer now, but some citizens have started to organise gambling nights. Right. I want to just question society here because we've had today prostitution, drinking alcohol and now gambling. I don't know what's going on. They bet everything, personal belongings, food rations, sleeping spots and even their work duties. So first of all, activate greed. We can't. So that's fine. We don't do it. Option one, let them have their thrills, but under one condition. Only personal belongings can be used for gambling. If we do that, we can, we, we've got to have active justice. We add D44 to the Dusk deck. Or let them do it. They are adults. Minus one discontent. Add D45 to the Dusk deck. So that's quite good. But there might be a knock-on effect. Or gambling will not do any good. Order them to stop. Plus one anger. Right. We are definitely not going to do that. I think we're going to have to say, let them do it. They're adults. So we're going to minus one discontent and I'm going to inactivate the anger. And we add D45 to the Dusk deck. D45 is going in the Dusk deck. Right, that's the morning phase done. Generator phase. Fuel the generator. I cannot fuel the generator. So one engineer gets sick. One worker gets sick. Next, uh, drop coal. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Generator might go boom. I'm dropping five cubes in. I need one of these to stay in there. I do not want all five to come out. Or is it... I think we're okay. I think it's only if it goes in the top space. Hi, Joanna. Thank you for joining in. Okay. That didn't sound like many came out. Two have come out. That means that generator is absolutely full of cubes. Right, Max is okay. Okay, so there you go. Uh, right, check for generator breakdown. We no no do that. Reset the heat marker. Weather phase. 
Right. Okay, everything's moving by one. One of those. One of those. One of those. One of those. Hunter's huts provide one, two, three, four, five, six, seven food. Uh, expedition moves four. So we have arrived at the cave and we're going to skip it. So what that means is we take the top C card, we put it over and we have two movement points left. So we go one, two. And this moves to there, which means we get six coal and four wood. Lovely. Four wood, six coal. I love these outposts. These are great. Six coal. Uh, and the storm does not move. So the storm doesn't hit us this turn. And yeah, I'll be spending a core to clear all of those. Absolutely. Well, maybe. Yeah. Right. Preparation phase. We don't have any active care, so we can't use the health advisor. So we're resolving the sickness markers and an engineer gets sick and is now gravely ill. That's it. <sighs> Action phase. Right. So we need to be preparing for the storm. That's that's our main objective here is preparing for the storm. We are also not going to get any coal or wood next turn, but we do have a way of generating coal and wood from now on. So the first thing is I'm spending three coal from the supply to make sure that the red buildings are heated. Then we send a worker to the sawmill and then a worker to this sawmill. We chop down that tree and that tree and we get six wood. Three, four, five, six. Okay. Then we send uh, an engineer to the infirmary and we're going to treat two. So that's treated and that's treated. We're going to send another engineer to the infirmary and we're going to do one, two, three, four. Now, unfortunately, we don't have enough engineers because I do want to implement that law. So we're going to send an engineer to the platform and it's time for a bit of new order. And I don't mean Blue Monday. With the introduction of the new order, all who voice doubts will be branded as traitors. Obedience is the highest virtue without which the city can't survive. All those who do not follow will be swept aside. Okay, so uh, we have introduced new order. When it comes into play, we exhaust one uh, discontent of each type. And now there are some more buildings that we can build, which are off camera. Uh, there is the snow pit, whatever that does. Is it somewhere they dump bodies? The propaganda center love the idea of that the agitator um and the prison so yeah these are all extra but i'm just going to put them on here um no in fact what i'll do is i'll put them on here yeah so the snow pit uh it looks like it clears corpses it has a one-off effect i think when it comes into play in that it, it removes the corpses so that's good correct me if i'm wrong uh, the prison um allows you to spend for hunger reduce hunger by four let me just have a look let's see what these do i've never i've never used these before prison the action of the prison is to reduce hunger by four but a meeple who performs this action stays in the prison during the night phase using this building as a shelter if it isn't heated and becoming sick if it isn't, cannot be upgraded. Oh, if it's heated and becoming sick if it isn't. Yeah, okay, right. So that reduces hunger. Um, the snow pit, oh, the agitator exhaust all active discontent tokens of one type. Yeah. Propaganda center. Choose any building with a citizen meeple on it and perform that building's action. Basically, work hard. You, you men, you work. Um, and the snow pit, when build, move the corpse marker backwards one to three spaces on the corpse track. And it's free to build because we just dig a pit. 
We need to spend two coal or we have sick engineers for orange buildings. Am I, uh, am I getting carried away? Yes, I am. Thank you. We are going to do it, obviously. We spend two coal to make sure the orange building is heated. Right. So. Lots of options now. Yeah. Automaton to get the coal. Uh, charcoal kiln to get more coal. And then just spend loads of coal. And, and start doing this. We need to be doing this. We also need some food. So things that we need to do this turn. Hunter's Hut, five food. Um, I mean, we've got this medical post as well. We can't, we, I've built two medical posts and we can't use them because we built an infirmary. We need more engineers. We need more people. Uh, so charcoal kiln converts one wood into four coal. Sorry, three coal, four coal. How many coal did I just have? Repairing the generator. Definitely going to repair the generator. Oh, hang on. I forgot about repairing the generator. And that needs an engineer. Oh. Right. Messed up. And I don't want to undo because it'll be a lot of work to undo it. So I think, yeah, because repairing the generator requires an engineer. And you can't use automatons as engineers, can you? Yeah. We, I'm afraid the generator is probably going to go pop. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to undo all of this because, yeah. Um, I just need to check how much coal I had on there. No, I don't want to insert adverts. Ugh, can't see. It's really hard to see how much coal I actually have. Yeah, I'm not sure. If anybody knows how much coal I have, I've now got four coal. Um, so the question is, was was did I already have one coal before using the charcoal kiln? Ah. <sighs> Right. I could upgrade the kilns before using them. Ah, oh, what do they do if you upgrade them? Oh, it's one for five. I could do. Um, I'm trying to think what else I would upgrade. Oh, no, I can't upgrade because that's the, that's, that's, that's the workshop. That's the engineer action. Um, yeah, we don't have enough engineers. Engineers is a slight problem with this society. We just don't have enough of them. We need to go and find ourselves some more engineers. It's because we introduced this law um but we can now use this law to build more buildings you know i've I've introduced it to get rid of the discontent but actually do we want to use it to to use the propaganda center propaganda center needs an engineer yeah could build the prison prison costs three wood reduces hunger yeah. Use automatons for coal increase. Yeah. I did want to build the snow pit. I, de I definitely wanted to build the snow pit. Um, so the question is, do we build the snow pit? And do we build something else at the same time? Like the coal thumper. I keep going on about the coal thumper, don't I? I mean, I think food is still an issue. So we're going to build. The snow pit's free. So we're just going to put a snow pit over here. And that's the corpses down to zero. They've just been thrown over there. I'm also going to spend one wood to build another hunter's hut which is going to go there. So that's my second build. And my third build.
They might could be the hot house. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, hang on a minute. L7. I didn't shuffle in one of the law consequence cards. Told you I'd forget. So it's either this one or this one. Okay, Joanna is saying that I had one coal before. Thank you, Joanna, which means I'm owed a coal. Uh, there is a mini for the snow pit. Yes, I haven't painted it yet. Um... So let's get the mini for the snow pit. It's a very simple mini. It wouldn't take me long to paint. It's basically just a pit. What's that? Okay. We have two automatons and we have a worker left. I need to be doing this. And this is just once per round, but you can spend any amount of food and or coal. So that's great. So I want to go there when I've got loads of coal and for one action, I just stockpile 12 coal. I think we're going to use the hunter's hut. See if I've got this right for five food. So I'm thinking of not doing that this turn. I'm thinking of doing it next turn and the turn after. Uh, so this turn, I've got my third build. Thank you. <laughs> Let's just go back. I've got a third build to do. What third build do we want to do? Shall I just build another hunter's hut? I mean, it might seem crazy, but it, it's it's passive food income and it's cheap. It's very cheap. Don't need the agitator. Yeah. Go on then. Let's build let's build another hunter's hut. One wood. Is that all of the hunter sorts out? Yeah, that's all five hunter sorts. It's a good job I painted them all. Okay, so that was the third build. Right, now we've got two automatons. I will spend the two coal. Um, building a house? Yeah, next round. Next round I'll build a house, but I don't need a house this turn. So we're going to go over here to get the three coal. And then the other automaton is going to spend a coal to use the charcoal kiln to spend a wood to get four coal. Okay. And then, do we want to spend any of that coal? I don't think I overspent. I think I just spent one coal for the automatons and one coal for that one. I think I did. So at the moment, lots of people are going to get sick. And that's a problem. So I think this might be another round where I just need to throw coal at this to stop the sickness problem. We can afford one of each to get sick. So one, two, three, three coal. And then that's OK. That is absolutely okay. Right. Bloody kids sat around doing nothing. Lazy. Action phase is over. Dusk phase. God, this game's good. I did overspend for the automatons. I should have one more coal. Okay, how did I do that? Well, thank you for checking. Thank you for keeping an eye on me. Just going to check my messages. 
Uh, it's not that, not important. What time is it? Five to five. So as I mentioned, I was going to play until 5.30 today because that's the time we normally go to the gym. I'm, I'm playing this till we finish, okay? I am here till we finish and we will just have to go to the gym later. Um, this is this is more important. So we were also going to start watching The Expanse tonight. Which I'm very excited about it. I've been wanting to watch The Expanse for five years, but now that it's finished, we're going to start watching it. Anyway, gambling with their lives. Uh-oh. People are complaining about the gamblers. Some of them went so far as to steal food rations from the cookhouse. The only worst crime in our society is murder. Uh, the addiction must have hit fertile ground, fueled by desperation. Uh, I've also just remembered we need to spend two food in the dusk phase for the profit, and that should happen before this. Right. Activate greed. Increase hunger by three. Next, option one, hard work will allow them to forget their addiction and make amends to other citizens so that there is no mob justice. If we do this, we gain one anger, but we remove all stress cubes from the stress track. How that is thematically, oh, they work hard. So basically, stop gambling, get to work, fix the generator, they become angry. Oh, that puts us very, very close. Very close. Or their crimes cannot be justified by addiction. They endangered fellow citizens and shall be banished. Minus one discontent and lose four workers. Now, I just need to check this social dispute card if you have more active hope than active discontent, which we do. Oh, this is tricky. This is tricky. This might actually lead to us losing. But I don't want the generators to blow up. So we're going to do it. We're going to we're going to say stop working. And yeah, next round fighting arena as the final law. So they gain an anger. What that means is we draw a token out of the bag and then if there is anger, which there is, we activate it. So that goes on there. That gets activated. Unfortunately, wish so. Mm -hmm. But we remove all of the stress cubes. Right. Done. That's the dusk card resolved. Oh. Right. Decrease hunger. We have 13 hungry people, so we feed them. No more discontent. We then have to feed the engineers. There are 10 engineers. We have two food. There are eight hungry engineers. Next is the night phase. I think we're okay. Um, we're, we're all heated. So yeah, we don't need to do anything in the night phase. Everybody's got somewhere warm to sleep. Is that everything? Yep, I think that's everything. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. In the houses, we're all done. Okay, next round, dawn phase. So we move the round marker onto there, which means our medical education is now researched and our heating lamps, which I'm not even going to bother putting on because it's totally useless because the remove snow action is never going to be taken again. We've moved onto the storm marker, but the storm marker is not resolved until the weather phase. Uh, what's next? Morning phase. Okay, here we go. Morning smog. The morning sun had vanished, covered by smoke from the generator. In these conditions, it's hard to catch even a single breath. If possible, flip one sickness marker on its syringe side to its skull side. It is possible, so I will. Then, option one, let the sick and the weak stay put for today. We shouldn't push them in conditions like this. For each sick sickness marker on its school side, place one spent citizen token of the corresponding type in the supply. We lose a worker for this round. That seems fine. Or, lose the game. Plus one discontent. So, no, one of the workers is suffering because he smoked. Uh, smoked? 
inhale too much smog. Right, generator phase. We are not going to fuel the generator anymore. I think we can cope with one extra six citizen of each type. Then we are dropping five coal in and go knows how many is going to come out. Oh, only three. So it wouldn't have gone pop. I don't think it would have gone pop. I think there were seven on there, wasn't there? Yeah, we'd have got away with it. <laughs> uh, dun, 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 dun. Reset the heat marker. Weather phase. Okay, that moves one. That moves one. That moves one. We get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten food. Ten food passively coming in every turn. Exploration reaches the end. Storm marker doesn't move. Loki's come back. Right, what have we found? That could have been us. On our trek, we found the snow-covered remains of another group of survivors. Upon closer inspection, we noticed that they were carrying some supplies with them and were headed north, just like us, when the ground frost began. Sadly, they ran out of coal and perished due to the encroaching, merciless cold. It made us appreciate our fate. So we go home, we gain a steam core and eight food. Oh look, a steam core. But eight food. And we get a new A. So all of this gets completely replaced and we have a new A. There you go. Right. Storm. So the storm has hit for a second time. Brace yourselves. The frost is here. Flip all bunkhouses to their ruins. Yeah, so we can't build bunkhouses. We weren't going to. Anyway. Uh, remove the storm marker from the game. Oh, is that it? Okay, so it's just it flips bunkhouses and nothing else happens. Okay, right, cool. Apart from the big storm, which is coming here. Okay, so we've only got a couple of rounds, I think, before it hits. Don't forget to move the outpost tracker. Yes, I'm always forgetting, aren't I? Three. One, two, three. Again, that's new to me. I've not used that before. That's why I keep forgetting. Okay, preparation phase. We can't do anything. Resolve sickness. No. Yes. Action phase. Okay, awesome stuff. So, that's busy because he inhaled too much smog, so he's ill. And now it's Argo. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to spend three coal to make sure that the red buildings are uh, ready and active. Now, I want to do this this turn and I want to get 10 coal. So we can absolutely get 10 coal, I think. Oh, only just. Do we want to do some upgrading? Now, we need to use those engineers. What did we miss out on last time? We missed out on something. Probably curing. Yeah, we have to we have to get rid of the discontent because we're about to lose the game. So and thankfully we do have one. We have the fighting arena. So I, let's sort that out first. The engineer is going to the platform and we are introducing uh, the fighting arena, which reduces discontent. So we're going to get rid of that one. Yeah, let's get rid of that apathy counter. Um, unlock the fighting arena building. The fighting arena costs one wood to build, and when this law is introduced, you may immediately build it. Well, build it. We got one wood. Fighting arena has been built. This was one of the easiest buildings to paint. So yeah, so this is the fighting arena. So yeah, enjoyed painting this one. It was uh, it was pretty cool. Um, where's the fighting arena being built? It's orange. Let's put it here. And using that reduces discontent. So, yeah, this, this is our discontent under control. We've also got the cookhouse, and you can use the cookhouse to reduce discontent as well. 
Uh, George is saying that I can do it all on the last round and stack it with food and coal. Ah, right. For some reason, I thought you went there with food and then you went there with coal. OK, so we do that. We do that next round. As long as we've got 12 coal and 18 food next round. OK. So we've built that. Let's spend another three coal. It's funny, can you use automatons at the fighting arena to reduce discontent? Yeah, law consequences. I told you I'd forget it. I think you can. <laughs> so, a consequence of us introducing the fighting arena. Yeah, robo fights. Exactly. That's hilarious. And next round we're going to get we're going to get six coal and four wood. Arriving next round. Okay, so they've got in there. Okay, so our plan is to have eighteen food and twelve coal next round. Mark is saying coal thumper. I, I yeah, because right now we don't have twelve coal. Um. For next round and we're not going to get 12 coal for next round either we're going to get six yeah this is the problem we are now pretty much out of coal oh no 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 we got the charcoal kill ah yeah i think we're all right i think we're all right i'm considering upgrading stuff that's what i'm considering doing um i just don't know whether it's worth it because we only have two engineers left. Wasn't the law enactment action a non-heated action? Um, possibly, but I could have spent the coal before going there. Yeah, so you're right. The generator tile is here. So I would have had to spend that coal before doing that. But I, I had the coal available, so that's OK. So here's, I mean, this isn't just a walkthrough now. This isn't a walkover. This is still stuff that we need to plan. Um, there are two sawmills available that will get us loads of extra wood. There are charcoal kilns that we can use that will get us coal. But if we don't spend that coal this turn. So here's the, here's the thing. If we use the infirmary, we can bring these sickness markers to almost zero. What that means is we don't have to spend any coal to heat the generator and we just let people get cold and let people get sick. As long as it's below this threshold, we're OK. Oh, and yeah, if we don't send a scout out, we, we need an extra house. Um, so we probably should send a scout out just so we don't have to. Yeah. <laughs> Who knows, they might find something good. Upgrading the infirmary in one of the kilns. That's what I was thinking of doing. So I, yeah, I was thinking of going to the workshop and doing two upgrades. I'd upgrade the infirmary, but it costs two steam cores to upgrade the infirmary. That seems really expensive, but we do have plenty of steam cores. So that's the infirmary upgraded and we spend one coal to upgrade the charcoal kiln. Is it a coal to upgrade the charcoal kiln? No. Where's the charcoal kiln? Is that the charcoal kiln? It's hard to see what goes where on this. No, charcoal kiln is there. That was the factory. That's it. So it's one wood to upgrade the charcoal kiln. Right, so we went there, we did two upgrades. Then we need to use this charcoal kiln because that's why we've upgraded it. So that's one wood for five coal. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and we need to use the other engineer at the infirmary. Otherwise, there was no point upgrading it. Uh, and that gets us cure five or treat three. We don't need to treat three. So one, two, three. 
four five. I think the sickness is okay. I think. So I'm thinking we go to the fighting arena and get rid of that. I just feel more comfortable with a bit less discontent. Engineer sickness at four and child to three. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't think, well, I'm thinking, I don't think it matters because they're all down in this level. But because I'm, I'm probably going to spend some coal to get that up. Um, we're going to go to the other charcoal kiln. Spend another wood. Get another four coal. Yeah, I can afford to spend quite a lot of this coal because next round I'm going to get six, 11, 15. I'm going to get 15 coal next round. So I, I can afford to spend all of this coal to make sure nobody gets sick. Um, it's the food situation. So this round I'm going to have to spend eight food to go down to 10. And then I'm going to have to feed the workers, of which I've got 33. So we need more food. We definitely need more food. So Hunter's Hut, Hunter's Hut, 10 food. So we're on 28. We have two automatons. I've got one steam core left. Not quite sure what to do with that steam core. Um, I mean, we could just use these automatons now to collect, to, to use the hunter's huts. Because food is the issue and we've got 33 mouths to feed. So I can't think of any other actions that I want to do this round. Apart from the um, apart from the sawmill, but I don't think I need the sawmill because I've got four wood arriving next turn. So we're going to use the automatons, one coal each, to generate four food each. There you go, automatons out hunting. So that's another eight food, putting us up on what's that? Thirty six. Right, we're done. Action phase is over. We have performed actions. We do the dusk phase. I have to spend two food. Otherwise, I lose a hope. That's fine. Hello, Loki. Yeah, mummy will be home soon and then you'll get fed. Okay. Be good. Be good. There are some good cards in here, I think. Because we've been a benevolent leader. Well, apart from, you know, that whole issue with locking up the daughter consensus it's good. something about that poetry kept nagging you it just wouldn't leave your thoughts you arranged a meeting with the poet it was eye-opening and you began to understand what she wanted to say because of the hardships of life she just needed to blow off some steam she in turn was fascinated by the burden you carry and decided to help exhaust all discontent of one type or Minus one discontent. So if we lose the greed. There you go. So we have more active hope than we do active discontent. Done. Hunger phase. Uh, we have to spend eight food. Then we have to feed 33 people. We only have 26. So we spend all of that and we've got seven hunger. Yep, yeah, because we're feeding workers this round. Okay, done. Night phase. I think we're all right. We've got enough homes for everybody to sleep in. Uh, yep, yeah, so everybody comes back. So barring some kind of issue, I think we've got this. Okay, there you go. There's all our people back. Uh, so, next round. It is round 10. 
Nothing happens, nothing happens. Morning card. Okay. <sighs> Dissidents. A rumour hits the streets. Supposedly, there's another city not too far away, more prosperous and advanced than ours in every way. A separatist faction forms, striving to migrate to this fantastic place. What's wrong with this? I've built you a lovely city. Not interested. Right. Option one, there's nothing out there. Anyone who claims otherwise is a danger to themselves and society. Issue house arrest. Institute house arrest. I'm doing that a lot in this game. Uh, if we do that, we place a spent worker in the supply. Okay. Option two, fulfill their demands and let them go, but they are never to come back. Only if you spend two resources, lose two workers, and add D47 to the dusk deck. That means we lose a worker for this turn, so I'm not sure about that. Or, indulging this train of thought might not be such a bad idea. Securing cooperation of another functioning city might prove invaluable. Well, let's do that. There's no bad effects on that one, so let's do that. No bad effects, he says. Card D48 goes into the dusk pile. I mean, if there is another city out there that's better than ours, then sure, let's cooperate with them. <laughs> that card might not actually um, come up. So we might not see it. Right, that is the morning phase done. Generator phase. So I think to be on the safe side, because we are about to get a million coal, um, I think I need to spend one, two, three at least... I mean, do we just want to play it safe? No, that's fine. That's fine. So one sick worker, one sick engineer, one sick child. We're done. Five cubes are going in. One, two, three, four, five. Hopefully. Okay, five have fallen out. So we've got to sort that out this turn. There you go. Right. Heat marker goes back to here. Weather phase. Off we go. So that moves up by one. That moves up by one. That moves up by one. Uh, we get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten food. Uh, advance three spaces, which means that advances, which means we get four wood from the outposts. And six coal. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that goes back to zero. Storm marker is irrelevant. That's already moved. Uh, so what have we found? We'll, we'll stop. We'll see what's there. Black gold rush. When the temperatures dropped to an unimaginable level, even underground waters froze over time, creating deep but narrow cracks. We stumbled upon a particularly curious one. It must have been a bog before it froze. We noticed some gigantic bones sticking out of a mass of frozen earth and a black shiny block. It was coal. Lowering my comrade into the seemingly endless void, I wondered if anyone would ever find our bones if we both fell. So we can come back and gain three coal or push forward. We're going to just gain three coal. We just... Yeah, so we come back. That goes there. We get a new one on there. We come back. And we get three coal. Right. Does the game end at the start of... Uh, start of... End of round... I don't know. I'm not sure when it ends. But on round 11... That's when we resolve this. So I think it's... Round 11 is the last normal round. Yeah. Um, but actually, I think we're probably going to complete it here. Um... Right, okay, so we've done the weather phase, preparation phase, nope, sickness, nope, no sickness effects, action phase, right, so, uh, yeah, we've basically just need to get some food, so we need to spend one, two, three coal, then we need to use the hunter's hut to get five food, Um, then we need to use the other hunter's hut to get another five food. And how much coal have we got? 11. 
So then we need to use this charcoal kiln for another five coal. One, two, three, four, five. And then we're going to use this action here. So once per round, and I'm going to spend 10 coal. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, I didn't need to use that. Um, no, 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 I need to spend 12. Yeah, 12 coal. Three, four, five, six, seven, 12 coal. Um, to put the coal marker on the six space. And then I'm also spending 18 food to put the food marker on the six space. Spend any amount of food and or coal, place the corresponding markers. Yeah, done. Right. So we're all spent. We, we, we've, we've done it. We've prepared for the storm. We've stockpiled everything. So that's that's all OK. Um, we've still got other stuff that we can do. So let's do it. Let's send the automaton to the hunter's hut and the other automaton to the other hunter's hut. So that's two coal for another eight food. Put me on ten. Um, the audio is going in and out. I'm not sure why. Should be okay. And yeah, round 12, the meteor hits and we all die. <laughs> um, the outposts are not going to deliver again. So it's basically... Yeah, we are, we are left with what we are left with. I'm going to... Uh, hmm. Let's use the infirmary because we can. To cure five. One, two, three, four, five. That is so under control, it's, it's scary. Repair the generator. Yeah, probably should repair the generator. So do that. Spend a steam core. Clear the generator. I mean, there's still a steam core over here. Um, right. We've only got two, two coal. Uh, apologies if the sound is dropping in and out. Some people seem to think it's okay. So I'm not sure what the issue is. Uh, we've got four actions left. I'm not sure there is that much we want to do. Um, I can't use an orange building without getting sick. So, and we don't have much coal. So I think, I think, unfortunately, we're going to have to use the coal, charcoal kiln, um, just because I've done things in the wrong order. Um, and, a, and a worker gets sick. But then we spend that four coal, one, two, three, four, and now orange buildings are safe again. Yeah, I could have upgraded, but I think we're okay. Got spare actions. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? Can we get more coal? Um, we could get that coal. But we'd get sick if we got that coal. Expedition. Oh, yeah, we need to do an expedition because otherwise we need to build a house. Thank you. So we'll go on an expedition to a campsite. There you go. Um, yeah, I, I'm not sure it matters at this stage. So. I'm just going to spend that two coal to go to there. So we know what's happening. Two engineers are going to get sick, one worker, one child, which is which is absolutely fine. We're going to send a worker to the fighting arena. We're going to get rid of that. No, in fact, let's get rid of that. And then we might send an engineer to the medical place. Because we're all right for food. Yeah, I think we're all right for food. Uh, to cure three. So one, two, three. Yeah, so... Oh, yeah. Why use the medical center when I can use the infirmary twice? Yeah, good point. Uh, so four five. Look at that. We have no sick engineers and no sick children. Um, we need coal for heating in round 12. OK, well, I'm not I'm not sure, but I'll, I'll generate the coal somehow. <laughs> if not, a few people will get sick. We'll, we'll get sick. Um, so that's it. That's the action phase done. Dusk phase. I need to spend two food here. Uh, then we reveal a card. 
Have I put the right cards in? I think I've put the right cards in. It is, if they are not with us, the regulations introduced by the order affect almost all aspects of our citizens' lives. A person is nothing but a statistic in the blind workings of the apparatus that swallows those who cannot accept the new order of things. Okay, if all of your hope tokens are exhausted, no. Otherwise, for each type of active hope token, in the following order, apply the corresponding effects. Justice, activate all discontent of one type. Now, you can't choose to activate one that you don't have. So I'm going to choose to activate Greed. Um, but that's it. That's that card done. Hunger phase. I have to feed the seven hungry people from the day before. And now we have to feed the kids. And there's ten kids. So I feed one of them and nine of them get hungry. Night phase. We're all okay. Everybody's got somewhere warm to sleep. So we can zoom ahead. We don't have to do anything. Think everybody's got any somewhere warm to sleep? Yes, they do. Where's the other automaton? And that one. And that's it. One, two, three, four, five. We're missing one. Six, seven. We're missing a worker. Hmm. Thought we had seven workers. One, two, three, four, five, six. How am I going blind? Yeah, I'm going blind. Event card. Ah, yes, event card. Thank you. Presumably that comes back. Yes, it does. Uh, right. So we think possibly the final round. I'm not quite sure. We move the round marker. We've hit the scenario trigger token. And round 11. Place S04 face up in the scenario display. Right. Survive the storm. A howling gale sn snares the city in its grasp. The generator creaks under its weight, opposing the raging winds. Hunting or transporting raw materials from a warehouse means certain death. We'll have to make do with the food and cold we've stockpiled. So we put the scenario trigger token on round 12. And it says, instead of playing a normal round, resolve this card. Lose half of your food, round it up. We have no food. Return all scouts from expeditions. Do not collect rewards. Okay. Right. The generator phase. We play as normal. Okay. Let's just let's just go through it. Um, if S07 has not been revealed. S07 has been revealed. Okay. So there was a different card if we'd have done something in a different. Oh, gosh. Don't know what that is. I have no idea when that card comes out, but there's multiple ways that this could this could happen. Oh, not this round. Oh, sorry. In round 12, we do all of that. Right. Sorry. Again, I'm getting tired, getting hungry. Um, so round 12. Instead of doing that, we resolve the card. Right. OK, so. Round 11 is played as normal which is where we are now. So the morning of round 11. A new project. One of our engineers has an idea that may help us provide more food each day for the city. He needs some resources, but perhaps it would be prove worth the investment. Give him what he needs, place this card in the event display, and then in the action phase, each time you perform this action, take one wood from the supply and place it on the card. In the Dusk phase, if there is no Engineer Meeple on this card, get an Apathy. Or if there's two wood in the card, do something else. Or, we can't afford it, do it. Sure, whatever. We'll, we'll, we'll let him do that. So that's going in the event display. There you go. Right, we'll keep him happy. Generator phase. We're not going to put any more coal in because we haven't got any more coal. So two sick engineers, one sick worker, one sick kid. Five cubes are going in. One, two, three, four, five. Four come out. Yeah, that ger that generator tower is full of cubes. Okay, one, two, three, four. Uh, that's that done, that done, that done. No generator breakdown. Weather phase. One, 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 one. 
food. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, it's ten again. Ten food. That advances four spaces. Storm marker doesn't move. What have we found? A matter of life and death. Out of an entire camp, only two families remained. Their reaction to us was heartbreaking. It was only by pure chance that we stumbled upon their campsite. If we had arrived a few days later, we would have found a frozen grave like so many times before. What broke our hearts even more was that some amongst them were too weak and would only slow us down. So we can take only the strong, swallow the tears, gain three workers, or we must stay together. Uh, one hope, four workers, two children, gain a sick worker. Yeah, absolutely fine. We'll do that. So we're coming home. We are gaining a hope. So I'm going to have care. We're going to gain four workers. We're going to gain two children. And we're going to gain a sick worker. That's fine. So we've come back from B. Uh, which means that goes there, that goes there. Right. Okay. So that's the weather phase done. Preparation phase. We don't need to do anything else. And sickness markers are okay. So action phase. Number of workers doesn't change. Seven, three, and three. Yep. Yeah, but if we don't build a new house this turn... Again, we got we got extra people, so we need to send them out. Right, okay, so final proper action phase of the game. And we need to know that in round 12, we're going to lose half of our food. Then in the hunger phase, increase hunger by two for each citizen meeple. Gain five food for each food ration. So we're going to gain 30 food. And then spend food to decrease hunger. And then resolve the effects of the hunger marker. So let me just understand that correctly. Increase hunger by two for each citizen meeple. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So hunger's gonna go up by 26. But we're gonna gain 30 food, and then we spend the food to decrease hunger, and then we're alright. So food, we're okay. Frostbite, gain 12 star citizens of each type reduced by two for each coal stock on the card so that's none so in other words that's the food that we eat that's the coal that we use if you've stockpiled it completely you suffer no bad effects i think that's right isn't it yeah you shouldn't get the outpost in round 12 i don't think you should oh but in fact in round 11 it moved four so we we do get them this round Excellent. So we got we got even more stuff. So six coal, four wood. I think it's just a formality at this point now. Yeah, four. It moved four steps. So in round eleven, the outposts delivered. They went quick. Um, for each citizen meeple without somewhere warm to sleep, gain three six citizens of the corresponding type. If you have survived, you're victorious. I think. I mean, I, I kind of want to play it through, but I think we've won. Pretty sure we've won. So what are we going to do this round just to make sure that we, we have won? Let's spend one, two, three, four, five, six coal. That should be down here to go one, two, three, four, five, six. Red buildings are warm. Use the charcoal kiln to get five coal to go one, two, three, four, five. Um, use the infirmary to cure one, two, three, four, five. Just, you know, keep these things under control. Go to the fighting pit to reduce that. Um, Hunter's hut. Hunter's hut. Ten food. I mean, we're still going to have to feed... Oh, it's only feeding the engineers this turn. Um, yeah, I mean, what else do we want to do? Do we want to build some buildings? Sure, let's build some buildings. Um, so let's go to the sawmill, chop down this tree. Get three. Uh, go to this sawmill, chop down this final tree. Get another three. Uh, build. Then one, two, three, four. I'm building another house. Because I can.
Charcoal kilns? Oh, we won't have enough wood. Yeah, 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 yeah. First time I've got this far, so this is all new to me. It's all new. Um, I, I don't know what to do with these extra people. I really don't know. We got we got them spare. <laughs> I mean, I can build two other buildings as well. So we could build the coal thumper. Go on, let's build the coal thumper. I did talk about this. I've never used a coal thumper before. And I've painted the building. So, um, yeah. And in fact, let, let's be really silly and let's build it over the top of the steam core. Just so that I can show you the coal thumper that I built. So I finished painting this last night. So this is the coal thumper. This came out quite nice. Happy with this. I've kind of done leather, leather straps there and I've kind of done a, a brassy copper effect there i've tried to use similar colors uh throughout most of them to keep them consistent we're going to put a coal thumper there and then we're going to use the coal thumper just because i've never used one before and that puts three coal on three different adjacent spaces and there is a limit actually of how much coal you can have on one particular space but there we go um Clean the generator. We could we could clean the generator. Just just in case. So we'll clean the generator. And then we have two automatons, but unfortunately we don't have any coal. So actually, I shouldn't have spent one coal there. So I had a coal. Spend that coal to go out and get three. And then I spend one of those coal to go out and get another three. Uh, and then I can spend one, two, three, four. Let's go one, two, three, four. There you go. I mean, that's just that's just silly. Five coal per space. I thought so. I thought it was five coal per space. Anyway, we're we're done. We've tried to zoom through that the dusk phase. We spend two food to keep them happy. Oh, we didn't do this. <laughs> if there is no engineer meeple on this card, gain one apathy. Oops. So we draw a thing out, it isn't apathy, that goes on there. Um, resolve one of these cards, hopefully this isn't going to kill us. Exodus. The unrestrained rumours took seed and gave birth to what has occurred. A large group of people took supplies and left to search for this better place. One can only hope that they find it, for the alternative is too much for any conscience to bear. Lose four food, lose three workers, lose two engineers. They've buggered off. Well, screw them. Hunger phase. Uh, we're going to use nine food to feed the people from the day before. And then we need to feed eight engineers. We've only got five. So that goes to there. Done. Night phase. I think we're all right in the night phase because we've, we've built another house. So everybody comes home, everybody has somebody warm to sleep. I'm going to zoom ahead now. Dawn phase, we move to round 12. Uh, morning phase. Oh no, round 12. Instead of playing a normal round, resolve this card. Lose half of your food, round it up. None. Return all scouts from expeditions. Do not collect rewards. So generator phase, play as normal. So we don't do a morning phase, we do a generator phase. Nobody gets sick. We're dropping eight coal in. Four have come out. Yeah, I can see the top. There's loads of coal in there. I mean, that could have been bad. 11 cubes could have fallen out. Um, generator phase as normal. So we've done that, we've done that, we've done that. Heat marker goes down to here. Weather phase, we don't do. Preparation phase we don't do, action phase we don't do, dusk phase we don't do, hunger phase. So increase hunger by two for each citizen meeple. We have seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Ah, now this is interesting. There's a slight quirk here. You only are supposed to reset the number of meeples you have in the action phase. And because you skip the action phase, technically, you skipped it. But I'm, I'm going to do it. I'm going to set it as it should be. So we've got 12 meeples, 
So hunger goes up by 24, so that goes to 27. But we then gain 30 food, and we spend the 30 food to fix the 27 hungry people, and we have three food left over. We survived the storm from a food point of view. And then because we stockpiled um, six lots of coal, so that's 12 coal, we don't gain any six citizens because it's reduced by two for each coal stack. Yeah, we're done. For each citizen meeple without somewhere warm to sleep. Oh no, then you have to, then you have to, uh, sorry, then you have to house all of the people and we can because we've got four houses, each of which can take three and we've got the child shelter. We're finished. We're done. First time I have ever won the game. But as I mentioned at the start, we have been playing with the new Explorer difficulty level. To be honest, if I was playing this on normal, I don't think I would have won. So I'm really glad that they've re they're have they releasing this Explorer difficulty level. And I don't quite know when it will be available. But that, to me, was one of the best gaming experiences that I've ever had. And a big thank you to everybody who's been joining me. A big thank you to George and Skycroft and everybody else who's been suggesting things. I'm happy with the amount of advice that I took from the chat whilst also making some of my own decisions. I didn't just follow exactly what the chat was saying, but I also did look at the chat for help now and again. Um, this was a fantastically enjoyable game. I will be continuing to play on this difficulty level uh, for now, because for me, this felt like a challenge. And I know if you're an expert at the game, you'll think, oh, Paul had this easy. As far as I'm concerned, this was difficult and this felt like a real challenge. Uh, and I'm happy with that. I, I much enjoyed this. I, I enjoyed this a lot more than me getting to round seven or eight and just dying, which is what happened in all of my other games. I've played this about four or five times and every single time I get to round seven or eight and I just die. Now, the first few games of that, I was playing the game strategically incorrectly. My biggest piece of advice for you when you start playing this game is do not survive from one round to the next. If you do what I did and went, oh, what do I need to do in this round? Oh, we need some wood and some coal. Right. There's wood there. There's coal there. Oh, we'll go and get them. Right. We've survived this round. What do I do next round? Right. You will die between round six and eight. What you do, what you need to do in this game, and George has written a, a great article on Board Game Geek about it, but essentially you need to plan right at the start of the game how you are going to get your wood. Because you are going to need in total about 50 or 60 wood for the whole game, something like that. And you know from the start of the game there isn't that on the map. So you need a way from the start of the game of working out how you are going to generate wood. Now, in this game, we didn't have the wood deposits around the walls. So it's very different. In this game, you have the wood outpost. That, that is a way that you can get wood. But you need to position the, uh, the sawmills. Uh, you need to upgrade them, potentially. You, it's all about positioning uh, of where you build the sawmills and the charcoal kilns. Because as well as getting wood, you also need an income of coal. Again, if you live from turn to turn, just thinking, oh, let's go and grab three or four coal. No, you need what, 10, 12 coal every single round of the game. And there is no way that the map is going to provide that for you. So you need to build coal thumpers. You need to build gathering posts. You need to build the coal mines. You need you need to build the charcoal kilns. And the other thing is your sickness. If you are not careful, if you do not build enough shelters, um, you are going to, your sickness is going to get out of control. And then people are going to start dying. And every time they die, you lose hope. Every single time I've lost the game before, it's because the sickness went up, um, people started dying, you lose the hope, the hope goes down to zero, and it's game over. Which means you need to build the medical post, you need a way of keeping the sickness under control as well. There's a lot of different things going on in this game, um, and there's so many different ways to approach it, but there are some fundamental key things that you need to know. Every game is going to play out differently. You get four different technology cards, every game you play will be a different set of four technology cards. The laws... You have eight fixed ones, but then you have four extra ones. Uh, in our game, we didn't use any of the extra ones. Oh, no, we did. Fighting Arena. That was one of the extra ones that isn't in the standard the standard eight. Um, you're going to have a different social dispute card. The map layout is going to change your game completely. Every time you play, 
you're going to have different tiles come out in different places and that's going to change the way the game plays. I could play this exact scenario right now and it would be different because I would probably use a different starting society for a start um, and our tiles might not give us any steam calls. So all of a sudden, very, very different game. Yeah, massively replayable, huge amount of fun. Thank you to everybody for joining me. Just before I disappear, uh, today was a day off for me. I've taken today off work. This is not a sponsored playthrough video, but as I mentioned earlier on, instead of sitting on the beach eating an ice cream, I decided that I wanted to play Frostpunk. So I'm bringing you this content. It's not costing you anything to watch it, and I'm not making any money out of it. All advertising revenue from this video and all of my other videos all goes to charity. So every single penny of all of my advertising revenue every month goes to charity. So yeah, not made any money out of this video, but I've brought it to you because I want to play the game. Um, but it's down to the support of the Patreon. So yeah, a huge thank you to all of my Patreon supporters for funding the channel. And if you like the content that I create and you want to get access to some more behind the scenes videos and various other things, uh, you can become a Patreon supporter of mine at patreon.com forward slash gaming rules. And we're done. I'm going to head off to the gym, get some food, start watching The Expanse, and I'm going to start painting some more of the miniatures because the next time I play this game... I am going to be playing one of the other scenarios, which is the arcs. Uh, so Raphael is in the chat. Raphael is somebody who works at Glass Cannon Unplugged. And we worked together on this project a lot for a very, very long time. And you suggested that you wanted to see me play the arcs. And I'd love to play the arcs, but I hadn't painted the arc miniatures. So I will, once I finish the child shelter, I will set to work on painting the arc miniatures. And the next time I do a live stream of this, that's the scenario that I will play. Um, yeah. We're all done. Thank you to everybody for watching. And if you're watching this back afterwards, please give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave me a comment if you enjoyed it. Until next time, take care and thanks for watching. Bye bye.